Try to do this again. Um. Christ, I am rusty at this. Need to turn on the radio. That's it. Oh, there's music going in the background. That works. Also, I have to thank Black Hole a bit later. Wasn't quite expecting them to color right away. Okay. How do I advertise again? Better? Not a pricing. But desktop, you know, so you're doing Dante. It's going to be down here. Boy, IRL outing. Operation. Two part. Right, Shante game, right? Yeah, okay. Hey there, Nick Rowe. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good night so far. And welcome to Thursday and all that. Right, water. I should probably grab water. I'm a little bit scatterbrained at the moment, but that's because I haven't streamed since Sunday. And this week has honestly killed my focus. How's it going? All the same. Spawn tubers because I'm a robot. Why? Because Twitter is dumb. Then here. Yeah. For right now, I'm kind of just doing my usual setup, but tonight we will be playing Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for our 100 follower celebration. Figured that'd be a good game to kind of start off showing games that I do like, or at least ones that I have better history with. I probably won't remember everything that's actually done in it, but I do like the Shantae games, and the music's always killer. That. It. There we go. And I need to do Discord. Hey there, Ziana. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good evening so far. Okay, the go live bot did go live, and it looks like I'm stoned in the preview image, so thank you very much for that, stream cord bot. But I guess that's fine. Admittedly, I'm not the most energetic tonight, but... We'll probably pick it up a little bit just when Shantae's going, because that's a pretty high energy game. Alright. Pirate the Night Away. Pirate the Night Away with Shantae. How to create Heart Blurbs 101. Hey there, Solace. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good evening so far. And welcome, Caribou. Hope you're also having a good evening so far. Hopefully everyone has some time to just kind of sit down, relax, and enjoy them. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. I might have to change those a bit locally on my side just so they're not as loud, but that would require me to figure out what sound that's actually coming from. 
Yeah, Saul, it's kind of sounded like you were sleeping most of the day, so it's probably good. Not too bad anxiety anyway for me. Yeah, admittedly, I, I definitely understand that. Anxiety is always such a pain in the ass, but I'd like to provide a place for folks and kind of just, you know, sit down. Don't have to think too much. I might ask at most if you're, like, having a good day, really. I kind of just want folks to relax and have fun. I'd rather not push it a little bit too far, because I know folks can have a bit of a busy day, and I'd rather folks just at least chill. That's why I like the freezer. <laughs> that works. Then, I don't know if lists on this one is one I really put it in, but these. So I can let the grocery store know that I'm chatting. Don't recall if Dewey is actually going live or not, but that's fine. Uh, but like I was mentioning just earlier, tonight we'll be playing Dante and the Pirate's Curse. Just because I figured it'll be funny to play the one game where Dante doesn't actually have her magic even though she is a magic creature by default. And it is the one that I kind of like the most. And thank you, thank you, Ziana. It's always nice when you can kind of connect with other people, so I'm glad we got up to 100 followers already. A nice change of pace. And hopefully as we can, you know, grow the community, I can talk with more people and, you know, get to normal. Ugh. Get to know more people. That's how English works. I have also noticed that in Discord, they have kind of shortened the embed links now. So it's not quite as much of an eyesore. Unless that's just a setting that you can set up. Probably why, like, Twitter posts are still relatively large, but the twist posts, the twist, hey, the twist posts, the Twitch posts are smaller now at least, so they don't quite take up that much room. was streaming this morning, yesterday. Okay, I'm slow at this. I'm usually done getting all of my Twitter posts out of the way by now. That one. I guess it was a recent update too, because it kind of looks like it just went into place like this morning almost, or yesterday evening. Because I'm sure if you can look at some of the promotion channels and some of the VTuber servers you're in, you might see that, like, it's not the full icon box anymore. It's like that half box now. So it's probably a little bit better for it, but probably still a little bit cluttered in the long run. Oh. I'm stuck in there. Okay. Interesting. I guess I'll have to double chat, double check with them why I'm not allowed to post in there now. Oh well. It's probably just because I don't talk in TV's server that much. That's fine. Press whatever integrations. Yeah, admittedly, it is kind of nice when they upgrade the like integrations with everything. And welcome, welcome to the uh, Discord, Caribou. Uh, you are welcome to pick your color in Roll Picker. That will also give you the go live notification thing, which I didn't set up properly with the record bot, apparently. So, whoops. I thought that would actually go together, but I guess not. Because it's at stream live. Should have connected with that. Oh well. I'll have to look into that a bit later. I thought I could just be lazy, but there must be something specific I have to do. Just to get that to work. Here. You have one other Discord thing I probably should have done before this, but. Yeah. 
this thing when Twitch actually sent the notification, which can be instantly or two hours later. So no, it's not necessarily the oh ghost. Grab the ghost. There we go. And yeah, it's not necessarily stream cards notifications. It's more so uh the link what's it called the roll notification that's it the roll notification with it didn't work oh also i'm noticing my chat had to reconnect there i'm assuming that's because i was doing a thing in discord that Probably ate my connection for a quick second there. Didn't drop any frames, but I guess it killed the chat. Odd, but oh well, it works. Also, can you guys hear the music all right? It's always a little bit hard to tell when just looking at levels. So I'd like to have it semi-audible. At least it seems okay. I'm assuming you can all still hear me, so otherwise you would have said something. Okay, okay, good to know. Just, I'm the wrong one. Just because I'd be really sad if I fucked up the audio again. I really don't want to have to do that already. But, that's neither here nor there. Also, I did finally get that one working. At least to some extent. Unfortunately, just due to the multi-eye color stuff, I did have to remove the, uh, I did have to remove the bloom off of the anger face, but I feel just to have a proper sad face going, it probably works the best. I'll have to add in, like, maybe something to go along with happy a bit, like some kind of sparkly eye thing for my other keys, because I'm pretty sure I can add some more in there. But I figured at least having a crying one works for now. Um, Alright, that should be all of my go live posts I need to worry about, at least off the top of my head. I don't think I'll have to worry too much about Twitter right now, but... Considering the time, it's about go time anyways, so here's hoping to god I don't have many updates I need to worry about for this. That's Risky's Revenge. I need Pirate's Curse. And I do like the Shantae games, so I do pretty much have all of them right now. Except for the, uh, the Game Boy Color one, rather. Okay, yeah, the audio is quite loud. I probably just turned it up though. Blame. Oh. Uh William Poll Manager? Or how do you say that properly? William Poe Leman Jr. Thank you very much for following. Ah, uh, no worries there. No worries there. But welcome, welcome, all the same. Hopefully you're having a good night, and you can enjoy your time in the freezer when your internet's not quite as bad for you. There we go. Local blame can go down. Maybe when we do that, it's probably not as loud for you guys now, right? Because at least levels-wise, it's about comparable to what I'm at, but... You'll have to let me know. Another reason I do enjoy Shantae is pretty much just because of its OST. Just because of the fact that it's, like, bopping and energetic. I should realistically just grab my other headphones and check it on my side. 
because I'm gonna have a I'm gonna be a bit more of a stickler for audio, I feel. So I'll just be right back and grab my other set of headphones that isn't being used for audio splitting. listening to it. Not by too much though, so. Let me just put that up to 40 as well. Yeah, and that should do it. We'll have to be a little bit more of a stickler once we actually get into it all, but this game has a fantastic soundtrack, so I'd rather you guys actually hear it most of the time. There we go. Then I will swap my alert back over to a friend, because I'd rather she have some extra viewers than me being able to check my audio all the time. Which is... There it is. There we go. Okay. Thankfully, my internet can handle me streaming at my max qualities and all that, so that's always good, at least. And I did set this up before. It should. There we go. Just took a quick second to pop. Let's grab a controller here, because this is probably a better controller game than anything else. To any of these sharp-eyed viewers out there, this is where the thumbnail comes from. I had to restart the game so I could grab this screen, just so we at least had a good starting point, and figured that's probably for the best. Any other radio still on? Go away, radio. Sorry, Occam's laser. Right now we gotta be a pirate. Well, a very tired genie, I guess, is kind of where we start, but. It'll be a fun time all the same. Especially if I can keep my mouse off the window. <gasps> I had that dream again. <gasps> oh. It's been the same one every night. Ever since I became human. Although it's hard to question how human she is, considering she still has the, like, pointed ears, but... Oh wow, doing that immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I have that tied to voice swap, I believe. Yeah, okay. So I guess we'll do default voice for the first little bit of the stream. Thank you very much, Caribou. What in the world? Scuttletown's under attack. I may not be a genie, but it's still my duty to protect this town from evil. Alright, and off we go. Ah, welcome back, Siona. <laughs> Is it another pirate attack? Worse, it's the Ammo Baron. He's turning Skeleton into a war zone. Here, an auto potion, just in case. <laughs> this guy's got her back, at the very least. Time to put your training to the test. You're a human now, you gotta fight like one. Here, take this pike ball, you can activate it from the inventory screen. I'm gonna go catch up with Sky. Which I'm a little curious, because the pike balls are normally still tied to our magic, but I'm going to overlook the continuity issue. Oh, that's right, I can do this without my genie magic. Yeah, everyone's just kind of afraid that the screen's going to shake for a while. But we have our classic hair whip. And then we should have... Oh, yeah, we do five right away. Okay. Oh, that button? Yeah. 
So for now, at the very least, all of our magic spells are just consumable items. Which isn't a huge issue, but that's just health. We don't need that just yet. Oops. And you will notice as well that we basically have 8 health right now. So it's good to keep an ear out for that just to make sure you don't die in this beginner section. Oh. Especially those guys since they take 2 hits right now. But that's fine. We will get there. And yes, our whoops, our whip is a bit slow at the moment, so we will get that upgraded in time. Uh, no, oh, okay. They just want to stay down there. That's fine. Oh, and you get a full heal, anyways. So that's fine. And there's the mayor. Huzzah! It's Skittletown's guardian genie here to save the day. Get real, mayor. I can't fight the entire Ar Ammonian army by myself. Do something about this. <sighs> but you see, I can't. I sold our town to the Ammo Baron in a moment of weakness and then spent the money on cheap, waxy chocolates and ate them. Say what? Then I had to go and make dirty water by the time I got back, and he'd already started moving in. He owns the town, so I can't make him leave. Boo hoo hoo. Ugh, never mind. Magic or no, I'm ready to go. And now we kind of just have to watch for various nonsense. Like him. And, whoops. That was bad. There we go. That's better. I gotta remember that your short hops are not that short. And then this, they're trying to teach you how to crouch, because he just shoots at your body. Oh, hey, free fight ball. Nice. Nope. <laughs> Thought I could make that, but I guess not. Let's see here. What it wants you to do is this, because that way would be too hard, apparently. And then you can go away. Good sir. And I don't think there's anything up there. Yeah. Admittedly, if you're not used to it, it might get a little bit hard. Like, knowing what's in the foreground and the background. But that's all good. Please go away. <laughs> and thankfully, the game's at least nice enough to tell us you don't have to worry about swimming to start. Go away. And a nice full heal. I mean, they're not the easiest games to play, so I can understand that. Also, the game does like giving you secrets. So, keep an eye out for all these hidden kind of pathways. We'll probably have to worry about them more like once we start getting tools and whatnot, but... That's all good. I know for right now, my main goal is to get the uh, hair whip upgrade. Just because it's nice being able to do this like twice as fast as this, at least once you hit max. Because that's just a little bit too slow for my liking. And I don't think you can kill him. Yeah, no. Well, her hair being lethal right now is mainly just because like, she has to train her hair most of the time anyways, so this is her main attack, even without magic. It doesn't make the most sense, admittedly, but, like, if you're whipping someone with something that thick, that's why it's lethal. And the hitbox on that stays for a while. There we go. Then a nice full heal. That was dumb. <laughs> And that sends you all the way back to the start, which is why you don't want to screw those up. And it's more or less just teaching you don't don't jump too soon, because you kind of can't land on those too easily. There we go. And then this part, it, it doesn't deal damage to you, but it just destroys the platform itself, which is the annoying part. 
Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of gunfire. Nope, and I just messed that up. So this part's a little punishing, but it is kind of supposed to be the first part, so it's supposed to be easier. But that's fine. We'll get there. I just need to remember how to play this game, because it's been a while. Thankfully, we're not kind of worrying about the speedrun trophy or anything. There we go. Thankfully, they give you intermittent heals. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. And then this part. This part is just... There we go. This is kind of just survival and try not to get hit by those things. Because, I mean, they're jerks, but they're doing their job right. Whoop. There we go. You can kind of bait them, so it's fine. There we go. And just look at that. Nice and easy. And here's our friends. Hey, you made it. Oh. French says the Ammo Baron is just ahead. Good, because I've got a message for him. Straight from my hair to his derriere. Okay, and work on those lines. Which, I think there's, like, a heal before this. Yeah, because you still have some enemies to deal with. Go away. And go away. And a free pike ball off that, so that's good. There we go. Oh. Right. <laughs> there we go. I actually got pings on the Jude Discord. Also, this old man is your friend, as he's always your save point, more or less. So he's still got his magic. Also, just give me a second, just in case these pings are important. I don't think they are, but... No, it looks like it's just other people going live. Okay. I wanted to make sure, just in case, because you never know if people are going to, like, emergency contact you. Baron. Yeah, here's the Ammo Baron. He's a Cyclops. That's right, boys. Tear down that preschool and convert it into a long-range cannon. In that retirement center, another cannon. Ah, it's really coming along. I'm tearing up here. Hold it right there, Ammo Baron. No one weaponizes the elderly on my watch. Kablamo! Boys, you shouldn't have. Is she here to dance at my victory party? Price approved. Yes, she will indeedly do. The nerve. What do I look like, anyway? I don't know. Some kind of dancer, I guess. Aren't you? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah? Yes, whatever. Stop breaking our town. According to the fairness law... Whoops, I pressed the wrong button there. The full amount of cash are eligible confections before you can claim legal occupancy. Hmm, let me see, let me see. Egad, she's right. I'm not about to let some purple-haired pipsqueak stand between me and my glorious new empire. Ooh, well, let's dance. So now we have to do a little bit of finicky stuff. Because you'll notice our hair is not quite that long. And the tank just kind of hits us on contact. And then we need to wait for that one to get uh, that button. Just to get him out of his tank. And then he can kind of just hop back in. Oh. Okay, fine. There we go. And then you should be able to do this, I think, in like three or four cycles. Then pop. There we go. Three. That works. Yeah, like, even without her magic, Shantae's pretty lethal. From what I recall, at the very least, her hair alone is just tougher than nails, so... Probably for the best, anyways. That takes care of you. No, oh, look what you've done to my tank. It was a gift from my mother. What's all this commotion? It's the Ammo Baron. He's trying to destroy Scuttletown. 
I want my chocolate back. Oh. Who said that? Oh, uh, yeah. These guys. Who? What? It's the... The Royal Guards. They'll fix this. Guardian Genie, you must cease your attack. Attack. Or, you must cease your attack by Orden of Sequin Lancelotana. What, me? Ha <laughs> you see? Girl laws on my side, girly girl. But, but he's the one who... For assaulting the rightful owner of this town, your status as town guardian is hereby revoked. You got the court summons. Also, yes, they do like to play up all the sad events, even with her having a happy face and the Legend of Zelda pose up, but <laughs> it, I, I, that's also why I like this game. It's got a good sense of humor. What's this? You are hereby confined to quarters until... Um, yeah, just to quarters. You hereby can find quarters until you're hearing at Sequin Land Palace. You will be relieved of any special weaponry at that time. Good day. And goodbye. We have lost our job. Looks like someone's getting a haircut. Ha 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 They can't take my hair, can they, Uncle? It's all I have left. Do as they say for now. But what if... Patience. I'll head to the palace myself to sort this out. Also, technically speaking, yes, her hair is classified as a weapon. Because, I mean, clearly she doesn't have her magic right now. She was killing people left and right with it. Just promise you'll stay out of trouble. I promise you, Uncle. And, I mean, we'll try. We'll try her damnedest. Uh. Oops. My poor, poor town. Guess we blew it, huh? What a mess. Your uncle's right. We'll just have to place our trust in the authorities and hope for the best. Wait up! Hey, wait up. <sighs> how did I get in this mess? Yeah, that's how they want to start this game. And we get to go home. That rotten risky boots. Ever since she stole my magic, things have gone from bad to worse. <sighs> a hot bath is just the thing I need to clear my head. Aww. This is mostly voiced? Mm -hmm. Not fully. Wait. I don't know a bathtub. So yeah. Trapped bathtub. <laughs> Don't think you'd ever think about that kind of trap, but someone figured it out. Don't tell me. <laughs> well, well, isn't this a sight? Risky boots. Risky boots. The bay. In the flesh. Enjoying my booby trap bathtub, I see. Ah, you're in big trouble when I get out of this. Please, you're giving me goosebumps. I'll keep this quick. Tell me where my men are, and I'll let you live to see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, don't get cute. My men and my weapons are gone. Who else but you would take them? Me? You're the only thief around here. Really, then perhaps you can explain why your uncle has my crewmen caged up in his lab. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, then I'll prove to you that you're up to no good. There's my missing man. Also, yes, Risky did carry the entire bathtub from Shantae's home to town. Risky is strong. Right here in dear old uncle's workshop. Exactly, exactly. Like, aside from the pants, I do love pretty much everything about Risky, both her design and how they treat her. What have you got to say for yourself now? I uh, don't know, but I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I know the reason. You wanted revenge for that innocent or incident with the genie lamp. Just look at my poor defenseless Tinker Bat. He's terrified. Looks fine to me. This is your last chance. Tell me where they are. I want my men. I want my weapons. And I want them right now. Huh? 
Uh, what's that noise? <laughs> you know, just some run-of-the-mill darkness. A cackle bat? A what? No. No, it can't be. What happened to him? I'll explain later. Look out. I'm unarmed. Deal with this creature quickly. Okay, at least let me get decent first. And if I remember right, they have, like, 25? 20 health? Nope. How much health do they actually have? It's been a hot... Whoops. Okay, closer to 40. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Kind of a interesting place to kill it. I don't usually get it right on Risky. Here, get rid of that wretched stuff with this. You got the magic lamp. Hold the lamp button to suck things up. Which, yeah, that's why. <laughs> you got dark magic. I got him now. Could or got him. Now could you please explain what's going on here? Uh, there's no time. What about the lamp? Are you going to try and take it back? Keep it. I've got bigger fish to fry at this rate. And so do you. The Pirate Master has returned to Sequinland. I guess it's Sequinland. Not a word I usually say. What was that about? Who's the Pirate Master? Hmm. hmm. Alright, well, the town is now fine. It's been like five minutes, but... Yeah, there's Risky. Uh, what's the button to talk to people? B. Got any items in inventory? Hide them for description, then use them whenever you see fit. We. Yeah, and thankfully this is kind of just tutorial mode, more or less. <laughs> and they have their own kind of creative ways of at least giving the tutorials at the very least. But I don't think we can leave town yet, because I think we kind of have to talk with Risky before we do anything else. But I mean, like... The townspeople will talk to you for now, which is always nice. The woman over there looks like the nefarious pirate Risky Boots. Well, minus the hat. It could be anybody. And yes, everyone's dumb. Well, what do you want? You're off the hook, so get lost. This pirate master guy, he sounds pretty dangerous. Dangerous? He was the greatest threat Sequinland has ever known. The last time he showed up, it took the combined power of every last genie to defeat him. W wait, you're talking about real genies? They captured him? He's dead, but don't let that fool you. With the genies gone, the Pirate Master will do everything he can to regain the dark magic and rise again. Dark magic. The stuff that transformed my crewman back there. The Pirate Master must be stopped, or Sequinland is history. After all... He has no right to destroy what I've worked so hard to conquer. Uh, well, maybe I can help. <laughs> a runt like you wouldn't stand a chance against a foe like the Pirate Master. I can deal with this myself. How? You couldn't even fight a single cackle bat on your own. True, but if I just... Oops. Cutting off the power he feeds on should keep him in the grave where he belongs. I'm only lacking one thing. A map of the Forbidden Isles. That's easy. Just try the library over at Sequinland Palace. I can't go into the palace. They'll clap me in irons. Unless... Hey, don't look at me. Those guys want to clip off my monster whipper. Then I guess I'm on my own. But I might reconsider my position if you fetch me the map. It's your choice. So we have a couple options here. We do kind of have to follow her because, spoiler alert, deal with the pirate's curse. We need help from the pirate. But we'll kind of just be working towards all that. This is a bathhouse. The bathhouse is nice. And all the people are cute here. More or less just restores your health and restores any resources. It's also, like, weird 
kind of half gremlin people. And then I'd imagine this is Sky's place? Yeah, this is Sky's place. Hey, Sky. Dante, I thought I had you under lock and key. Uh, I'm on my way to the palace library to, uh, to get something to read, you know? To pass the time. Can I borrow your library card? You? Read a book? This I have to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, the way forward games always have a pretty good sense of humor. At least in the long run. I nibble when I'm nervous. That line out of context, you can have fun with, especially with the robo-filter off. I'll probably turn it on in about five minutes, but... There's also her bird up here, but I don't think you can talk with him. At least not for the moment. But this is where Sky lives. She breeds birds. Birds are cool. And then you. Mayor Silver Town to the Ammo Baron. Cool. I believe this is just the default item shop. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Welcome to my shop. You can get, like, regular potions. You can kind of just use those to heal. Auto potions, which basically just go off as soon as you die. The Pirate Flare, which is like a return to map selection item, for lack of a better explanation for now. And then just your default magic stuff. And then these ones down here. So, shampoo. Upgrade your hair to deal more damage. Makes sense. Silky Cream. Upgrade your hair for faster whipping. I'm taking that immediately. Usually speaking, what I do is I honestly just grind out... Yeah, the monster milk. Boost your attack strength. I, you know, like, just go up to a monster girl, ask for some milk, and you can, you can get stronger off of it. It's fine. But... Now you can notice we have a bit of an after image, and you can actively press it a little bit quicker. Not quite the fastest in the world yet, but it's an upgrade, so we'll work towards it. Pretty much as soon as I get 150, I'm going back there for the next upgrade. I don't even care about the damage, I just care about the speed. Because the speed in this is what matters most. At least to me. If you're in a hurry, try a pirate flare. Buccaneers use them to quickly return to their ships. Sadly, some of the tutorials kind of spoil what you're going to be doing, so I'm going to be a little bit tight-lipped on it for now. But just be know that we kind of have to work for Risky. That's the main thing I'm going to spoil. Hey, buddy. Let's see that library card. Golly, they say the camera adds five pounds, but in your case, it gave you blonde hair and a totally different face. Amazing. Head down this path for each Secret Land Palace and the library. Good luck. And now we kind of get to our first actual area. <laughs> Where scarecrows, you know, usual fodder. And depending on how you space your actual whips, you can hit multiple enemies with one. So, always good to keep that in mind when you're getting mobbed like this. Also, these guys, which I don't think I can deal with right now. Yeah, no, you'd have to get really close. But just let it be known that we can get over there eventually. Hello. And then you just want to make sure you grab all the money you can. Because you want your hair upgrades. Sooner rather than later. Wop, 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 wop. And another thing to keep in mind is just hitboxes last for maybe a bit longer than you might realize. So all those pumpkin fires, also, I will go back for that, don't worry. All of those pumpkin fires do kind of hit you as long as the sprite work is on screen. But we get our first heart squid. Will it actually explain it? No, it won't. Okay. So heart squids, the easiest way to compare them is that they are heart containers from Legend of Zelda. Or more so, heart squids are like the quarter pieces. So you do need to collect four heart squids to actually get a new heart slot. Now, can you get away from the edge? That would be cool. Because my hair is long, but it's not that long. Yeah, that's why. There we go. 
There's an entrance for us. There we go. We'll kind of have to go back to town anyways, so we'll be getting more than enough money to get maybe a shampoo upgrade and maybe another, like, silk upgrade. But you can go away. The damage isn't quite as impressive starting out, but just for comfort, I tend to prefer getting the silky cream first. Come on. Oh, lobster tail. Lobster tail is kind of one of the better foods, just I didn't think I'd get one this early. Yeah. A five-star feast that restores tons of health. It doesn't tell you the exact like the exact number at all, but the fact that it's here just means that like it'll heal you pretty well. And yeah, there's another one of the heart squids. Sadly, we can't reach that yet. Even if you can get up to... Whoops. Let you fit first, jerk. Even if you can get up to here, you can't actively jump that far right now. But that's also the game teaching you that there's going to be some extra abilities later that will let you get to that infinitely easier. Hey, save guy. There we go. Now we enter the Tangle Forest. This place is annoying, but that's fine. There we go. Thankfully, they drop enough money to make that work worth killing them. But... Oh, landed up there. And I don't think there's anything special over here just yet. But you just have to do some tree platforming. That's fine. Uh, and then they just like to stomp. But thankfully they drop enough money. There we go. At least they drop enough money when they drop money. And I think that jump is also... I think that's impossible. Yeah. That's just for a spider. Oh well. And at least another good note for the moment, I don't believe there's fall damage, but we'll kind of have to cross that road when we come to it. Bop, bop. And then bop. There we go. And get rid of you. And bop you. With no money drop. Rude. Oh well. Oh, yeah, and there you go. There's another heart squid up there, as you can kind of see at the top. Can't get it yet. There's quite a few abilities you can get in this game, so we'll, we'll get there eventually. Oh, yeah. Her hair is both very deadly, but also very smooth. Whop and whop. And then that's pretty much all we can do, at least a moment in here. But here we are at the palace. Bolo, what are you doing here? Everyone in Skittletown thinks I'm a screw-up, so I'm picking up odd jobs at the palace. Painting fences and sawing locks and whatnot. And now you're babysitting? Oh, the undead kids? Nah, they're just here to chew the fat. Mine. I can't escape. Got any flesh pops on you? I need three of them. You can find them in the sewers below the palace. Also, yeah, uh... Zombies exist here. Don't question it, they just do. And that's kind of what they're mentioning right here. Hello. Hello. Uh. What's up, sir? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just flummoxed because I dropped something very important down the drain. You see, I'm a traveling brochure salesman. That's a very interesting profession. You must have seen some exciting things in your travels, huh? Travels? I've lived here in front of the palace my whole life. But I thought you said... Your generation makes me sick with your arrogance. I'm not a brochure salesman who travels. No, I sell traveling brochures. And I dropped my very last bro vacation brochure down this drain. Disgusting. Yeah, we'll have to get that eventually. Once we can actually get down into here. But not much I can do with that. That's the palace, if the gigantic building didn't say anything. Hello. Oh, Bussin. God, what voice do I even give the Squid Baron? He's kind of a nerd, so... 
Squid Baron, I haven't seen you in a while. What's the matter? Oh, you know, post-boss syndrome. Now you embark on a new adventure, I feel like I'm destined to become some kind of fillet boss. I'm not sure I follow. You know, I was a major enemy the last time. This time, I just feel like we're gonna have a bat have to battle again, just to round out the package. Package? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> I need to get away, someplace warm. Maybe it's time for a vacation, Squid Baron. A change of perspective could do you good. Say, you might be on to something. I've always had a fairly flat view of the world. I'm staring at the same four walls, you know? Repetitive, high-stress music. I could use a change of scenery. There you go. If you think of a good vacation spot, just let me know. Meantime, I'll go cry in, whoops, I'll go cry in a corner. Poor guy. So, <laughs> if the point's not obvious, we can now go to Ye Royal Sewers. Sadly, you can't jump down these platforms. So we can't quite go that way just yet. But we can go this way. Yeah, I just kind of go southerner for a second. Oh, hey, flesh pot. He did mention we needed a few of those, so may as well kind of grab it over here. Oh, did the snakes not respawn? Maybe it takes two map transitions or something. Oh! And then, as per most kind of adventure Metroidvania games, you can at least climb chains. And then snake. I don't recall all of the secret pathways, so we'll kind of have to come across them as we go. Okay, yeah, that's kind of telling you where one is. But, usually speaking, they keep mostly treasure. Would you like to move? Thank you. Oh, there's another one. But, we can just sneak our little buddy in here. And we get a little bit more money. Yeah, so far snakes and mushrooms. So there's a bit of a theme, but... Uh, not in this game, no, I don't believe there are any badgers. Can we do anything with that? I don't think we can. Oh, there we go. That's enough flesh pops for Bolo. This game does have fun with its uh, side quests. Oh, it's because I don't, there's not a hidden path under there either. There we go. Then we get rid of a little bit of a rat there. And then we get another heart squid. That does kind of reset the music. I think you have to jump up, yeah. Since we're kind of early in, the secrets are a little bit straightforward, but, well, that was dumb. Yeah, come on now. Up we go, up we go. And then imagine this way, yeah, that brings you right back to the entrance. So this way, you need to go to actually get the brochure. Yeah. Don't quite have the option for that just yet. But you can kind of take a wager that we need some kind of projectile to hit this, because our hair's not quite that long. And since we don't have magic, we can't exactly make it longer. But we'll, we'll need to come back here to continue that side quest. But that's at least good to know. And we did at least get the flesh pops for Bolo, so that at least gets us going. So before we go into the palace here, thankfully all the entranceways are on B, but hey Bolo, I got you flesh pops. Awesome sauce. Yeah, these will do the trick. By the way, if you're heading up to the palace, return this royal gate key, will ya? Some idiot must have lost it. Gross, it's covered in bite marks. Yeah, I found it in the mouth. I... Yeah, I found it in my mouth an hour ago. Here you go. Uh, Bolo's kind of the, uh, the dumb character, but that's fine. But, now we can go into the palace. I'm kind of doing... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of going ahead. Here, but that's fine. There we go. You got the gate key. I think what it kind of tells you is that the door is locked from the inside, but he doesn't have the key. So you can't go in. So basically we needed to actually get that going for him. 
The Sequin Land Palace is once again open to the public. Please come inside. And there we go. In we go. Hello, sir. Welcome to Sequin Land Palace. And thankfully, as with most palaces, you can destroy all the fancy stuff. I hear that Sultana is traveling. I worry when she's too far from the palace. Hey there, Nan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good night so far. Oh. We kind of just entered the palace. What's the smell? Uh-oh, this is not my armor. <laughs> the Royal Library. Through this door and across the hall. We're kind of just whipping everything in the palace because we can. And we may as well just kind of make money while we're going. Just a nice big empty room. Nothing will happen here later, I'm sure. But here we go. A visitor! Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, oh. This library card doesn't fool these old eyes. You used to come here all the time. The Relic Hunter's daughter, right? Yes, well, he's my uncle. And what's this? A court summons? You gave the summons. It says here that... Mm -hmm. Scissors, Jigsaw, Goat Mouth. What? They need to cut off that long, winsome hair? That will never do. Why don't I just... File these papers away until the Sultana returns. I'd like to give you a knowing wink now, but sadly my eyelids no longer work. I'm tired, ready from dinner and chill and kill. Well, definitely glad to have you, Nan. Hopefully you can enjoy your dinner, and by all means let me know what you're having. I kind of skipped out on dinner to get ice cream with old co-workers, so good deal. Please take whatever you came for. Thank you very much. And I think we have to kind of go here. The, the hollow globe contains a secret. You got the Forbidden Isle map. Oh, yeah. There we go. All good there, and nobody stops us. Hi. Oh boy, I don't know how to pronounce most of that. Considering that had Kim. Is that Ki or Chai? I'm not sure how to do K-H-I. I'm assuming Pad Thai, but I, I, I doubt it. Yeah, food is kind of important, Leah. Please go eat. I'm a robot, I don't need to eat. I'll eat later. If I need to. And then, in terms of actually being able to do stuff, we can't really get what we need here anyways. He? Okay, so Pad Kimau? And what would be included in Pad Kimau? And then what? Nope. There we go. <laughs> well, you're still welcome to stay here, Leah. I'm not exactly the, uh, well, also called Drunken Noodles. Well, I mean, I'd probably eat that, then. I'm assuming there's some kind of either very thick broth or some kind of alcohol mixed into the broth. One. Go. There we go. Oh, whoops. Okay, so one of the buttons is tied to something relatively important, so rip lobster tail. Go away. Drunken noodles, though. That's a pretty interesting name for just a noodle dish. Oh yeah, right. Hitboxes are a little bit janky. That's fine. Please come here. Whop and whop. Hmm. We're actually getting... Kind of close to... Oh, there we go. We have some monster milk now. Don't ask where it comes from. It's just monster milk. Hey, save, buddy. I will also try to save at pretty much every instance possible because I don't remember this game running the best. Oops. Thought we had more. That's fine. Well. But we'll see. Can you crawl? No, you can't crawl into that. Okay, just that one guy's bullets. 
a bit. That's fine. But you can kind of soak damage for now, just because it's, it's your part. We don't really have much to worry about actively dying before we get back to the hot springs. There we go. And let's get both of those. And probably need that. Hmm. We're actually close enough, so I might just kind of grind it out a little bit so we can get the other hair upgrade. I believe there's three upgrades per slot. We can't do anything with that one, but... There we go. Then get rid of you. And then get rid of you. And I believe that kind of just boots us back to town. Yeah. Let's try and get the last 15, just so we can get that next upgrade. Because sometimes these guys drop relatively good. Whoops. There we go. Sometimes they drop good items as well as money, so it's good to stock up. Just so you don't have to spend all your hard earned sequins on food. How these things actually have the food is a good question, but there we go. There we go. Only about 10 more. And let's see here. Wild rice noodles, eggs, basil, tomato, peppers. Bamboo shoots and onion cooked in dark spicy sauce called drunken more because it's great after night of drinking. Okay. So it's a bit more of a sobering meal. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that place sounds pretty good and overall pretty hearty as well. Because, I mean, you're getting rice noodles, eggs. Oops. That's one way to get up there. Yeah, because you have eggs, tomatoes. I haven't had bamboo shoots, but I would imagine those are... Oops relatively hardy as well. There we go. Now we need to eat a couple more. No, sir. You seem to have a better crop of juice. No. Alright, fine. And none of you wanted to drop money. That's fine. On our way back, we should get three more. If we don't, then wow, our luck is awful. There we go. And then go to you. I doubt we can get lucky enough to actually get, like, 50 more so we can get the damage upgrade as well, but at least this way we have to whip speed upgrades, which is definitely slightly more handy at the moment, because damage-wise, most things don't have that much health. You can kind of get away with keeping 5 damage per hit. There we go. You can go away. All three of you can go away. Sadly, no, like, combo bonus for getting money or anything, so you're kind of just left here on devices in terms of that regard. There we go. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, there we go. And then just another free pike ball, another free monster melt. I'm a little bit more concerned that we got it from a scarecrow that time. Oops. But that's fine. They're probably just carrying us a good snack. There we go. There's the guard again. Kind of just welcoming us in. We will go to the item shop. So you can kind of see our hair whipping speed now. Like, I'm pretty much just mashing it, and that's about as fast as you can go right now. Welcome to my shop. I really don't care about any of those. I mostly care about this. Yeah, and then there's one more upgrade for 300. But now we can go a little bit faster. Once you get that last one, it's pretty insane, but it's just nice having a pretty quick whipping speed. Also, now you can kind of notice this sign is up. This here is the Squid Smith. I take adorable little heart squids and melt them to make more health for you. Ready to afford some heart holders? I don't have enough at the moment, but I'd wager with this one. I think that gives us four. So, and she does kind of say that every time, so it's a little bit annoying. Ah, oh, crap, I only have three now, don't I? Uh, yeah, I need one more. Okay. We'll get one more soon. Hey there. Uh, where's 
angry. Well, what took you so long? I found this at the library. A map of the Forbidden Isles, just like you said. <laughs> I guess a little good for nothing is good for something after all. Yeah, admittedly, like, I'd like her to step on me, but all things considered, she probably has fun at night. She likes smacking parts. She likes smacking squids down during the day. So, I am imagine she enjoys some nighttime activities, too. So, will you let me help? Only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The Pirate Master is my foe to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a deal. Let's beat this guy together and save Sequin Land. Oh, don't worry too much about it, Ziona. I'm not loot at all, don't worry. Mmm, hold on. How do I know you won't pull a fast one? Would I lie to you? Say hello to the steam-powered oceanic sink- Oh, I gotta say this quickly. Say hello to the steam-powered oceanic tinker tub, Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happened to it. Get on board before I change my mind. Yeah. Risky will kind of just sail us around now. But you can also kind of notice that it gives us our HUD right away. Where we can kind of just see all of the crap that we're getting. I probably should get some kind of a lewd emote going at some point. But I kind of want to double check something, just in case I forgot it. Yeah, because there's a thinker back here, just kind of chilling at her house. Oh, he didn't jump that time. That's what I wanted to double check. There we go. And then we can suck up the darkness with our lamp. I mean, yeah, exactly. Hips never lie. And I mean, oh. See? I mean, look at Shantae. Shantae's hips are never gonna lie. But that's what I wanted to check, because I knew there was a fourth heart squid that was kind of within relatively easy reach right now. So, let's grab that heart container. Since getting the Sukun village isn't really too hard. And then we want to go to the heart squid lady. Because I'd like to show you all the animation for this, too. Scuttletown Squidsmith, at your service! I'll take adorable little heart squids and melt them down! To make more health for you. Ready to forge some heart holders? Yeah, great. Here we go. Boom. Let's say health. There, your max hearts have increased by one. There we go. Just like that, we killed four lives and got more health. Just as you do in any Metroidvania. Yeah, I do like her too. Uh, she does have an eye patch if you can't see the pixel art all that cleanly. But under that hair, she does have an eye patch too. She's just a little bit excessive and has the hair over her eye patch. So, it's fine. But I wanted to get that. Yeah, because if I can pull up Google really quickly, actually. Uh, you have to hold it. There we go. We'll go to Saliva Island, which is a fantastic name for something. Uh, I believe it's Heart Squid Half Genie Hero is the one I'm thinking of. At least I'm fairly certain she has an eye patch. Either she has an eye patch or she just uses her hair functionally as one. Squid Smith, that's what I wanted. I believe I just need to do that, right? Yeah. It's always a bit hard to tell, but she seems like the kind of person who would wear an eye patch under that. There we go. And here we are, at Saliva Island. Unless we can find another map, this is the end of the line. I'm ready for anything. 
Where did you get those clothes? Below deck. There's all kinds of fun stuff to wear. Most of the clothes were too roomy, though. Stay away from my personal effects. Gosh, I've never been so far from the mainland. It's pretty here. Don't be deceived. The Pirate Master draws power from this place. There's a den of evil hidden somewhere on this island. You're going to find it. What about you? You're not coming? Not this time. But I'm sure if we work together... I said no and I meant it. I have my reasons. Oh, I see. You're scared. How dare you? I'll gut you like a mackerel. Jeez, learn to take a joke. And get out of that silly outfit. Aw, you're no fun. Ready. Ready to go. Let's explore Saliva Island. Where immediately? Crabs. Thankfully, they're relatively weak. Also a frog. That's a psychoptic like, frog. Come on, reaction time. A frog that spits, spits fish skeletons at us with bubbles? They're fairly tanky. There we go. Those things are invincible, unfortunately. So you can't really do much to them. It's kind of just making sure you jump over the head. There we go. And then Frog Buddy generally drops money. There we go. Because we will want all of the upgrades. And there we go. There's our first instance of Titty. There we go. I can get rid of you. Get rid of you. Please go up. Get rid of you. Then we deal with our first... Well, not the first one, but just more mermaids and more Titty. Doesn't mean why would a mermaid need a bra? Oh. There we go. There we go. In a bento box. That's always good. Not sure how I feel about a lobster tail coming from the mermaid, but... That should be fine. Oh. That was rude. She was behind the cover. Then we can get rid of all of these crabs. I don't recall if we can do what we need to do on this side just yet, but... May as well check. I'm gonna wager it has something to do with that same kind of ranged ability. Yeah. So we'll probably get that on this island. Oops. I've been on angry this entire time. Kinda wish I could sync that up to my controller, but I don't really have the free buttons on an Xbox controller for it. There we go. Thankfully they are tall enough, and it's just good there. Obviously that's what unlocks it, and we'll get to there eventually. Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> Many years ago, I came to this island with my beloved bride-to-be. Our only wish was to be joined in holy matrimony. Oh yeah, the animations for this game are absolutely fantastic. Also, welcome, Nano. Hope you're having a good night so far. But a horrible monster, a servant of the Pirate Master, found us. His gaze turned my beloved to stone. Uh, I can never leave her side. Here, take this ring so that I can finally forget my sorrows. Sure, we won't need this at all for later. Gee, it looks pretty old. It always pays to kind of check your surroundings. Thank you, Nana. I probably should have taken a uh, drink there. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's summer, so I'll probably be leaking a bit more coolant just because... Unfortunately... Liquid Nitrogen doesn't like the heat. It barely likes base air temperature, let alone any of the summer stuff. There we go. Bubble shield. Get rid of all the crabs. And just make lots and lots of money. Oh yeah, this game is definitely up my alley. Admittedly, Shanti is the reason that I like Metroidvanias and platforms to some degree. Just because, like... I mean, aside from the mermaid titty as well, but we'll, we'll get to the actual, like, monster girl designs when we get into half-genie hero. Oh, right. Hey, respawn. There we go. But, okay. This one is admittedly a little bit older. 
So some of the new mechanics will be a little bit janky if you're used to the speed of newer games. That's fine. Monster Girls are very pretty. Okay. That one I don't like. But we go here. This one, if I remember right, I need something here, but I don't quite remember what. That's odd, there's a circular indentation here. Attach the ring? The ring clicks into place. There we go. <laughs> yep, Lamias are very much up my alley for very, very specific reasons that I will not get into on stream because I would like to keep it semi-family friendly here. Okay, what's, what's the pathway I have to do? Right, you have to do that one last, then that one. And then, which one of these two will go down first? There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know the exact reasons, Nano, but there are reasons to like Lamia. Here we go. There we go. We can't do much until we get, like, our other items, but it's fine. <laughs> Please, Nano, don't call me out on stream. There we go. Those are also invincible. We can't do anything about that. Nope. But we can't go down here. Crap, right that. And we can meet up with these two. Where's the manager? Hey, girl, keep it up. You here for spring break? Huh? Us too, but look at this lame swimming hole. It's all dried up. I can't sunbathe without a proper pool. This place is a total ripoff. If we can't swim, we might as well eat. I'll get the ham all set up. Hey, look. Ham. And then, do we have to, like... Yeah. So, there's ham. I'm just gonna... Take the ham stink. I'm just bypassing puzzles to make this a little bit quicker for you all, admittedly, but just, just let it be known that we need the ham stank. Yeah, Indivisible is also a good one. I believe I have that on PC. I'm not 100% certain though. Uh, order, I kind of forgot it already. There we go. Then up here. Oh, right. That's how you screw that up. Incident. Uh, that one's gonna be a bit of a tongue twister. Incident is. Incidisivable. Okay. Up, up. Up. No, hit it. There we go. You kinda need to get on this one first, anyways. But, there we go. Thankfully, you can kind of just get up here normally, but you do need some extra items to actually make use of this part. Oh, we'll get there. Excuse me, don't vomit fish in my face. And you can go away. Oh, hey, we got our pirate flare already. Oh. Yes. What's the button for healing? May as well just be cheating. Because we've got plenty of actual food at this rate, but... I'll just wait for this bastard to come on by. And then get immediately hit by a frog. <laughs> sure. Nope. You can go away before we continue on. Oh yeah, they did a very great job with the art of this game. Like, it all- whoops. It all flows together all nice and smooth, too, so... I've really got, like, not much to complain about, at least in terms of art style. Uh, okay, buddy. We do kinda need to get up there. I should stop taking silly damage, we're very early in the game. 
Alright buddy, would you like to maybe get to a hittable spot? Yeah, come on now. There we go. Aw, oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> Dumb damage. Gotta stop with that. And then this frog kind of gets in the way. But that's fine. We'll just hide in the bush until we can actually get over there. I don't think there's anything here. You can just go away, because you're annoying. Then we do a little bit of tricky platforming here. Ow. Just wait for him to go by. Oh. Look at him trying to snipe me from across the map. Okay, all fair now. Enjoy your alert. We will be here for quite a while. The reflection paper. Ugh. Not fun, but hey, at least you finished off the animation for it. There we go. Lobster tail is good healing. Look like that. Mermaid. Can I just... Yeah, thankfully they're relatively easy to kill. We'll go this way just because the wolf wants us to. We'll kind of have to remember that for a bit later. Ooh, very nice, very nice. I'll go to appreciate quick delivery when it comes to your food. Assuming you went with the, uh... Snakes. Rude. Right. The snakes are kind of supposed to go there a little bit earlier than you. Just so that you don't have to worry about having them dropped on you. There we go. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. But there's kind of a maximum on how many can drop at the moment. Yeah, hopefully you can enjoy your food too, Nano. Yeah, I you you remember how we said this was Saliva Island? Wow, this thing's enormous. Hmm, what's the sign say? Caution, Gigalemix may have arousing or may become aroused by travelers smelling of ham. Release the ham stank. I'm not at the moment, I want to go to the other side, but that's why I grabbed the ham stank early. Mainly because of this. Oops. Actually, can I even suck that up right now? I can, okay. I wasn't sure if the darkness would mix with our ham stank. There we go. But, now we can do this. Release the ham stink. You gave ham stink. Smells like victory. Yeah, and just immediately up by the smell of ham. And, uh, you? So, do you remember the map so far? Because <laughs> we can just go right down here. Shit, I missed that again. And look at that. Hey, girl, you got the water turned on. Let's all hit the pool. You said it, girlfriend. Ah. Uh, yeah. What's this? My porcelain baby fresh skin is too much for the sun. Mine too, the light's just bouncing off. Careful not to cross the beams! And yes, that's how we open the door to a hidden temple. Is off of two very pale girls. You got the petrify spell. <laughs> you did it, the pool's full again, and it smells like bath salts. The water's really, really warm and Kind of viscous. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave them to it, don't worry. It, it's fine. It's not that bad. We do what we can for the betterment of society. Yes, Chante is very special in that way. Also, because it's been pissing me off, I'm getting that goddamn hidden drop-off point. There we go. There we go, up to here.
just gonna have to cross a couple of quick frogs here. There you go. You can go away. And then what you want to do is just hug the side. And then you get another Tinker Bat. This one's a little bit easier to get just because it's in an enclosed environment. So it's a bit easier to just kind of knock out. But you get a little bit more darkness. And then I'll be trying my best to 100% the game. I won't speedrun it, but I'll at least 100% it. Because this game's not, like, too terribly complicated to 100%. At least not normally. Darkness. Give in to the powers of darkness. Now, we got the Petrify spell. That's kind of just supposed to indicate to you to uh, go this way. I thought I could be a little bit cheeky with it. Nope, and no. But the Petrify spell is kind of just to get you to go back to here. Oh, you found something? I gave the Petrify spell. <gasps> Could it be? You found it, the spell that turned my beloved to stone. At last, I can finally reverse its effects. Hush, my beloved, while I speak the sacred words. Ahem. Petrify! Uh. uh. So yeah, that's how that happens. <laughs> we, we have the entrance to our first dungeon, at least. Yeah, admittedly, that was pretty expected. Whoop whoopsies. Down we go, though. First dungeon, so. The Spittle Maze. A good note, destroy furniture. You just want to destroy furniture at any pass you can get. Rope snakes. And we got big ol' crabs that kind of just run at you, but they're weak, so it's fine. You kind of just want to keep an eye out for them. Whoop. Whoop. And then just an immediate save point, which is always a good sign. Sign of any good Metroidvania is when you at least have a save at the early point of the dungeon, especially since we can't get out. Well, and obviously can't do much about that. Aw. How many of those drop at a time? I guess four? Oh. We got monster milk from a snake. So that's a little bit concerning. But another hurt squid. Since this is kind of the early portion of the game, they're not going to be super mean with the hidey holes. But the rope snakes are also supposed to kind of teach you about that one. I mean, snakes count as monsters, but we'll deal with Lamia specifically later. There we go. You got the Spittle Maze map. Which I believe we can access off of this screen? Yeah. So now we just kind of have the map. It's not too big to start, at least. And I don't think we have to crawl through the entire thing, do we? No, you can just kind of run through it. And then there's a heart squid. Which you're kind of supposed to do, like, a specific item with, but you can kind of just run off and get it. And then these things are switches. Good thing to keep in mind. I don't think there's anything else specifically here. But yeah, this game likes to play with its physics a good amount. That's always a good thing. And then we get our first mini boss, which is this asshole. Which is also a reason I tend to go for the upgrade. He's a bit slower in this game, I'm finding. Aw. There we go. And there we go. And we get our key, I'd imagine? Yeah. First key. This game, or at least this dungeon, will at least teach you the basics of how Shantae dungeons usually work. 
which is kind of just how you'd imagine most Zelda dungeons to work, if I'm going to be completely honest. You just look around for small keys to open doors. They kind of just get immediately used as soon as you touch a door, you don't even have to worry about it. And then you'll notice a heart squid there, but you'll notice we can't really crawl into there just yet. So... Oh, can I get up there yet? No, I cannot. I assume it has something to do with that. What you do is that... And you get another heart squid. Nice and easy. And then bop. If I remember right, you can't get everything from an island immediately, but you can do a good amount. And yeah, you can kind of see here as well, we do need that long-range projectile thing for this too. Because as soon as you hit it, it'll just go away, it doesn't really give you the time to go back. But we should be getting close to the point I'm thinking of, so we don't want to worry about that for too long. There we go. That was just a trap, but still good to know. Uh, there we go. That one's supposed to give you an audio cue, so you can have a usable platform. And that one's just to allow you to get it back. Yeah. Don't need that there for now. Up. And it's always good to at least keep an eye out for various potential secret areas, just because you never really know where things are going to be hidden. Especially this. Because you can't destroy those just yet, but they are annoying. And then even just ignoring secret areas. This is just a normal area, and they kind of expect you to keep an eye out for that. That's fine. It's why I like this game. It's always unique. And there we go. We now have a gun. <laughs> you obtain Risky's Pistol. Press the shoot button to shoot enemies and switches. Sounds simple. Shoot. Yeah, so with this game, because we don't have magic, we get pirate tools. First tool is a gun. So now we have a long-range projectile. Fancy that. It's almost like they've been showing us various things we needed that for already. Oops. Kinda messed up my jump. That's fine. I'm not doing a speedrun, because I think the speedrun for 100% is like... Uh, what is the speedrun for 100%? I think it's like five and a half hours for doing a 100% speedrun. Uh, this one's usually just considered the best because it has the pirate mechanics. So you'll end up going significantly faster through the game most of the time. So it's the best game to speedrun, is a better way to put it. And I just like it the most because aesthetically I like having Risky Boots around more. And just having Risky Boots be your friend kind of proves that she's just a Sundere throughout this entire adventure. Or at least through the entire franchise, I guess is a better way to put it. And I'm just kind of waiting for them to shoot. Also, I mean, the butt wiggle from Crouching. You always gotta appreciate a good butt wiggle. Oh yeah, the whole cast of Shantae is fantastic. Also, welcome, welcome, Waza. Hope you're having a good night so far. Now then, I believe you have to do that. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Then we can sneak in there. Thankfully, using the gun isn't too tricky. You will notice, though, that it doesn't do the most damage. Oh, a Sundari is basically just, like... Actually, no. I have to remember you use sarcasm a lot. Because you're a son, aren't you, Leah? There we go. We can take care of all the crafts. <laughs> I'll get better with my humor, don't worry. <laughs> Gotta remember, we have the power of gun now. We need to utilize the power of gun to our advantage. Oh, right. 
this part's a little bit harder. If only because there's two of them. But as long as you kind of just keep your eye on them, it's not too bad. Come on. And as long as you kind of mix them up, they aren't too hard to deal with. There we go. Okay, no. I should have just jumped up there. There we go. One down, two down. Not too bad. No reward for actually completing that, but that's fine. Oh. And then get rid of the crab boy here. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, what's the quick heal button? Or is it just if you stand still long enough, it'll auto use a heal button, a healing item? Hmm. I don't quite remember. Because I know I did it the last couple times, but. Maybe that's more so just a recently used heal item, in case you have a copy of whatever you used last. But I think for the moment we don't have, so let's do that. Just that way we at least have the health. Because knowing my luck, we'll be hitting a box shortly. Also, is that a thing? No, okay. Always worth checking. Yeah. Save point. And then up here, we get a little bit of health, and a little bit of health. Because we have the boss fight, and if that's not intimidating enough to tell you that there's a boss fight here, then I apologize. But we face Plant. The Cyclops Plant. Frighteningly fixated Flora. I do not recall... There we go. Uh, that was bad. Note to self. There we go. You basically just have to do that. It just wants you to focus on the dungeon mechanics, all that. Oh. That was mean. I guess they just alternate. Yeah, admittedly, it's not the boss fight you'd imagine most. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so the right one should come up from this, so. There we go. Just keep poking them. You can probably get in there with some hair dashes, but. There we go. The gun itself is pretty quick, so it's not too bad. There we go. There we go. And then pop. Don't oh, turn around. And flop. And flop. Nope. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. At least the first phase, at least. Oh. And then you can kind of sunlock him a little bit with your hair. Which isn't too bad overall. Come on now. There we go. That's why I go for the speed upgrade, because it's just easier to speed kill him as well as have your quicker reaction time with most of the fights. But, first boss down. Da 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 da! Tinkerbats! Tinkerbats. Hey! Hey, get back here, you. What's this? He dropped something. Yeah, so your reward for beating the boss is just the pathway to the next boss. I did it. The Pirate Master won't be able to draw power from this place anymore. I better go tell Risky. And before you go... Well, 
make sure you grab that. Oh, one more. We get that heart squid. I believe on our way back that should give us enough to actually get another slot. And then in terms of gun usage, I don't recall if that helps us with that thing here or if we need something else. Bubble shield. Because I feel like more so you need... What would it be? There's a specific item you get later, but... Go. Yeah, because you kind of need the ability to actually hop over there, which is the main concern. And you need to go quite a ways, so I'll come back here when we have maybe a uh, double jump, maybe, or something like that. There we go. Get rid of you, and since you're tall enough, because your sprite exits upward because of your weapon, Sadly, they are short. Go away, crabs. Go away, and can't quite get that one. But with that, we have gotten most of the silence stuff. Just we do need some of the other items to actively complete it. Come on. There we go. You can just go away. Sadly, not enough to grab the second level of the damage upgrade yet. We'll probably get that. We'll probably grab just the. I don't think the gun can deal with them either, huh? And then the frog's just kind of a jerk, so. Like, biological enemies explode. Yeah, that is a nice touch. Because, I mean, why do they explode? What combusts in them? It's a work. I think even the gun does a decent amount of them, right? Yeah. They've only got one health, so you really just have to poke them. Yeah, they're risky. We're done for now. We'll come back when we have more items. Hey, you certainly took your sweet time. I found something. An evil dungeon and a giant monster, and where did you get that pistol? I found it locked up in a chest. Why? Never mind. Anything else? This island map. One of your tinkerbacks dropped it. He hadn't transformed yet. Interesting. That suggests that the Pirate Master doesn't have enough dark magic to go around. Which means we still have time to yeah, we still have time to prevent his return. Climb aboard. We're off to the next island. And we're off to Spiderweb Island. Hopefully you guys are fine with spiders. But as you can see, like we got pretty much everything there, so that's pretty good. Scuttle Town will have the most, just simply because it's the main hub town. Now, what did I want to do? Yeah, Emma Baron's folks are kind of here and fixing everything now. I want to go to here, and I want to get our damage upgrade so we can get that out of the way. And then probably one of the abilities. So, Shampoo. Backflip to recover from an enemy hit. I think that's... Oh yeah, we also get a kick, which I kind of forget about half the time. We'll probably have to save it for that. But we can also just upgrade the pistol for more damage, so... May as well just do that. And I'll notice that our shots are red. More damage. Anyways. Risky. I'll come back and do the stuff for Skettle Town once we get more of the abilities, just because Metroidvania. And Metroidvania logic, more so. But now we get the spooky island. It's a spiderweb island. I want you to locate the next end of evil and report back. Risky, I've been wondering, how do you know so much about the Pirate Master? Because he was my mentor. I sailed under his command for some time as first mate. He taught me everything I know. You were part of his crew? That's right. When the genies finally defeated him, I claimed his men and weapons as my own. You stole his stuff after he died? I'll have payment for my services, which were long overdue. That flintlock pistol was one of his. Oh, then I guess you should have it back. 
Just hold on to it. You're gonna need it to survive in this place. You're not coming? Trust me, you wouldn't want my... Uh, you wouldn't want me for company. Best I stay with the ship. Okie dokie. Perhaps we haven't gotten any ret to goes yet. But, now we get this music. Oh. There we go. And you can just kind of knock heads around a little bit. So apologies, Yona. These are kind of just jerky zombies that we have to deal with right now. I mean, no offense to you or your friends. There we go. I mean, yeah, most people technically would, but... I, I feel like you know the plot reasonings as to uh, why you don't necessarily want her company in this specific game. Also, we just got monster milk from a zombie. And if not obvious, this is a relatively good place to farm if you can uh, survive long enough. There we go. Because, I mean, they're just constantly dropping money, so may as well. Yep. I mean, kind of just play soccer with his head for now. But yeah, this is just constantly respawning enemies, so it's not the most helpful if you're just trying to, you know, survive. But... There you go. Uh... What's the first best way to go for here? There you go. Get rid of you. Just knock your heads aside. Just get more and more money. Okay, yeah, it's probably best to visit this first. Oh, no, not quite. Can we talk with the skeleton horse? I guess not. Oh well. Okay, zombies. They take a bit more hits than the gun can handle right now. That's fine. Yeah, just a nice skeleton horsey. There's a good undead theme. Okay, that was rude. This should probably heal. Okay. If I remember this right, this is probably the one area where you are kind of expected to die a lot, if only because of one specific game that's going to come up soon. Now how do you get that? don't quite remember how to get that one. Oh, okay. There's obviously a way to get that, but... I don't quite remember what it is off the top of my head. There we go. I assume that's something new with those, but I really don't recall. There we go. Either that or we come up from below, but that's a bit of a later problem to deal with. Okay. We just won't be able to ever ever-growing zombie horde there. Mm. Yeah, there must be something that kind of lets us go through the ground or something. I don't quite remember how to get all the ones on Spiderweb Island. Yeah. Okay, so you'll, you'll find the save point is a pretty common one for people to be at for a bit because of this. Eek! Okay, maybe not this part specifically, but what comes after. I thought I heard... Roddy Tops? Get away from her, you monster. That was close. You're almost a meal for that thing. What are you doing here, anyways? I live here. I heard this island had monster web coverage, so... Stop with the web jokes. Sorry. Well, you can help me down or not. Not a chance. For all I know, it's another scheme to get you to eat my brain. I have a lady here to rot. But I'm already rotting. And yeah, Roddy Tops is very adorable. Ooh! Fine. Well, what do you got to say for yourself? I think you owe me an apology for all the trouble you've caused. I... I'm sorry, but... Oh... My legs. They're going numb. Oh no, that spider beat you, didn't it? I forgot about it. I'm a bad girl. 
this this will be me here. No way, I can't abandon you in the woods. That would be too grim. My house is through the forest. If you can get me to my brothers in time. Just hold on, Ready Tops, I'll save you. So yeah, we're gonna be hearing this music for a while because I suck at this part. <laughs> but run, run, Ready Tops. You cannot attack, you just have to run for your goddamn life, and any hit instantly puts you back to the beginning of the screen. There we go. <laughs> yeah, a very, very cute Zambi. Uh, kinda took that one a bit for granted. There's one there. And we will have to deal with a bit more of a threat soon, but for now it's fine. Yeah, this asshole. Jerk. Okay. Let's be careful here. Because this screen gets a little bit annoying because of this specifically. There you go. Oh, trust me, I love a cute zombie, too. <laughs> and this area does at least give you that, like, panic look that they have while they're stuck standing still, because they have no idea how long they're gonna- whoops. They're gonna be stuck here. There we go. Now this part. Which is also just kind of more waiting, but it's a little bit quicker than the other guys at least. Yeah, that was kind of- uh, obvious. <laughs> That's fine. Sadly, in this part, all you can realistically do is run and jump. There you go. Okay, yeah, I can risk it. Then you just gotta space yourself just right. Yeah, admittedly, the checkpoints per screen are helpful. Because it's only punishing in the sense where it will only take you back to the start of the screen you're on. But... I think they gave up after a while. Yeah. Thankfully, since I have done this before, it's not, like, as bad. But you do get used to kind of the... horseshit shit that you go through with some of this area. Like that. And... I believe you just need to kind of jump over it and then wait here. There we go. Then you can kind of zoom past. And then this part, which I'll give you two guesses, is what happens here. There we go. There's one. Should be one here. Yep. Then a couple there. There we go. Almost there. Just you to deal with. Some cans. Another one, just in case. Take that one. Okay. I honestly thought you'd be able to hear the music for a bit longer. Oh, right. Run, bots. They kind of just run as soon as they see you, so you do have to do a little bit of tricky work for this. Well. This screen, admittedly, is the longest part, so... Good to be patient. Except for this one. Shit. You're supposed to wait for him to go fast. I thought I could be a little bit cheeky and get it, but... That's fine. That just means you can listen to the song for longer. Oh, oh, oh. You kind of need to bait him out for that one, so... Also, if you do pay attention, I'm pretty sure they want to kiss you. So, that's a good mental image to have with them. I mean, yeah, that's also true. Princess carrying Roddy is always nice. There we go. We should be close to the end. I just like doing that. That's just easier. Well... You can technically outrun them anyways, but won't even deal with those things, just on the off chance they do that for shit. 
but we're almost there. I mean, it would be nice to Princess carry someone. I think I am relatively strong enough for it now, but... There we go. He spits a little semen at you. You just need to be careful and not get hit by it. Let's see, go down here, then you have to outrun him. And then some more semen demons, so you can go off. I don't care. Also, yes, I will always follow some semen demons. Because they basically are just that. Then there you kind of have to play Faith. Because they don't really give you the option of backtracking. It's kind of just to teach you that you can jump a little bit earlier. Shit. Okay. Pretty much them noticing you is your timing to jump. If you're ever needing to do this yourself. Yeah, you're gonna come to life, and I think both of you do. How do you deal with that? Look at that. Then a hand. Then just careful of semen demon. Then. Thankfully it's alright if the tongue hits her head, but it's definitely an issue if it hits yours. There we go. And then this is just asking for trouble. There we go. And that's part. A little big for all that right place. Someday maybe. Yeah, someday. I mean where there's a will, there's a way, so. Uh, I'll just bait you. It's easier. Then we'll do that. Probably shouldn't have. Yeah. I have to do all that again. That's painful. That's fine. There we go. I mean, yeah, admittedly most of the things in this game are pretty lewd. Wait for just has a feeling when it comes to their stuff. I mean, the guys aren't usually too lewd. When we meet some more of the guys, it's not going to be as big of a problem. And I think there's maybe like a couple of females that aren't like supremely lewd. There we go. We'll just deal with you. And I will just let you run because I don't really want to be ahead of you here. Really? Right, the tombstone is technically part of the hitbox on that. That's fine. There we go. We will just go up and up. And the boss. Yeah, that's also true. That's what I get for looking away. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. Let's see here. Nah, they're still lewd, just not your type of lewd. Yeah, because I mean, they're trying to make out with you, so they're about as lewd as, like, nerds at a high school dance. There we go. I should have asked Jason if I can put, like, the uh, sweaty emo in my BTTV or not. I'm not sure if he has that shared. There we go. We'll just bait you two into running into a wall, bait you into running into a wall, and bait you into running ahead so we don't have to deal with this nonsense. And then you are like a croc. Shit. I would like to joke that I would just like to carry her for longer, but I would like to get past this, because this part always just holds me up. Because it's a little bit... That's just awkward. But this part does hold you up a little bit, just because this screen is long. So having to do this over and over again is a little bit annoying. But it is nice to just carry Roddy Tops the entire way. Go. 
that should be fine, even though that spike definitely is going through Roddy's head. Just bait you, bait you, and then bait you. You can just go there, sir. That's the cycle that you want. There we go, that's better. There we go, made it. Didn't take too long, it's just that one screen, because it's long. Save complete! And there's a tanker back here. Yes, you do still have to avoid him, but it's mostly just to let you know that it's here. Hungry. Hungry. Uh. Can we go that way? Not yet. There we go. That looks like a house. Hey there. My hero. Yo, sis. What's with the peeled shrimp? Unless she's here for dinner, she should turn tail and hit the bricks. Abner, Abner some big brother you are. Can't you see she's injured? Looks fine to me. What? <laughs> what a ride. Roddy Toss, you dirty double crossing. Hey. Shantae, is it? I got something I've been meaning to say. I ain't too good at making friends, but you've been good to me and Poe and my sis here. It's just that Pirate Gale has a real way of getting in your head and making you hear what you want to hear. Guess I'm just trying to apologize for bad calls in the past. Teaming up with Risky Boots? Dumbest thing I've ever did. Oh, well that's okay. Poe and Little Riders here is all I got. Can I say that right? Poe and Little Riders here all are all I got left of whatever life I once had. There we go. I can't remember much else. And welcome, welcome there, Pat. Hopefully you're having a good night so far. Yeah, admittedly, he's pretty jacked. I'll give him that. Plus, he's got the uh, wasp stomach. But you always make her smile, and I gotta be grateful for that. Wow, I don't know what to say. Foster check's actually good. There we go, thank you. Needed to crack my spine there. Ah, uh, just forget it, we're square. Where the devil's Poe? He ain't been back in a while. He was supposed to fix my wagon so we could skip the creepy forest. Well, if either you seize him, I'll tell him to check in. Yeah. Well, if either you seize him, tell him to check in or I'm gonna get peeved. Also, don't forget your heart squids. And then we just move on, because we haven't gotten anything yet. But, we can go after this one. Hey there. Oh, your brother said me to find you. Hey, you're that copy banshee. I remember you. Genie. Half genie. Well, former half genie. Thanks, whatever you are. I was scavenging the four wagon paths when I got stuck in here. Alright, let's see you in a bit. You like to help people in need, right? How about take a look at it? I'm no mechanic, but sure, I guess. Follow me, the wagon's this way. This is all that's left of our wagon. Those wheels I can repair, no problem. But that axle will never run smoothly again without some squid oil. And this island doesn't seem to have any squids on it. Hmm. Yeah, Metroidvania, it kind of wants you to adventure Oops. a little bit. You can go away. Oh, that was bad. Wants you to do the proper pathing. Sure, game. Okay. Ghosties are a little bit mean. But let's see now. Since that kind of taught us that we needed our gun to break. Excuse me, sir. Also, excuse me, sir. It's kind of just telling you that your gun is fairly important, but I don't quite remember the full context of what you can do with it right now. Obviously, you can't deal with those just yet. Yeah, I can't do anything there just yet. You probably need something to break, like, the upper block. Oops, there you go. We will just kind of avoid all of that. 
But basically what it's telling us to do is that we need to go back to the one area we found in the sewers before, because we need to talk with Squid Baron. The Squid Baron right now at least is a friend, question mark. Sadly, Shantae does not ground pound. That would be nice, but sadly no. But, if we can just kind of stay here for a couple seconds, we can probably get enough money to grab... Yeah. We can grab our damage upgrades, that way we can do 7 per hit. We won't be getting like 300 in a long time, so... There we go. May as well just grab the two base upgrades to our hitter's damage and all that. There we go. I don't believe we've got anything we can do here. Okay. Bit dangerous. Okay, flash pop. That's not too bad, at least. Hey, Risky. Find the next end of evil. I'm counting on you. Yeah. Thankfully, she doesn't mind that we kind of just leave for a quick second. But we'll just head back to Spittle Town. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, item shop, actually. Grab that hair upgrade while we're here. Hey there, welcome to my shop. We will go down. I think we need shampoo. Oh, no, that's 150 anyways. Uh... May as well. I don't quite remember the button for that. Tell us in here. Yeah. While standing, press the Simtar button to backdash. Okay. So I don't think we can use that quite yet. There it is. Okay. That's what that button's tied to. So now we can do like a little backdash in case we're getting too close. Jante? Uh, yes? We have something to discuss with you at the palace. Please follow me. Perhaps you're aware that Sultana is away on business. As such, a formal inquiry into your recent actions is not possible. No? According to some very old and legal guidelines, responsibility falls to the royal librarian, because apparently he once served on the ruling council. For one day, he has deemed it inappropriate to cut winsome long hair, be it scissors, jigsaw, or goat mouth. You're free to go. Huzzah! We won't get our hair cut off. Phew, that was close. Oh no, you're not getting off that easily. What does I hear about you sneaking off to the library? Oh, that, uh... I explicitly told you to stay out of trouble, did I not? Yes, sir. Next time I... Next time you might not be so lucky. Uncle, I just wanted to ask you... Yes? Mmm... Um... Never mind. Alright, I'll be back at my workshop in case you change your mind. I have a rather sensitive project that requires my immediate attention. Yeah, admittedly, I may have gotten my ponytail from Shantae. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, Nano. Hopefully you can get your work done relatively quickly. I'd imagine our reflection paper isn't, like, as bad as having to do a full, like, 30 second animation. But that does kind of just put us back at the castle for good reason. So. Yeah, and enjoy your lurk as well, pet. We'll just grab a little bit of money. And then there's a squid baron again. I wonder where we can get some squid oil. And welcome back, caribou. Hopefully things went well. Yeah, that kind of sounds about right. Uh, I deal with that. I kind of can. You can go away. Snack. There we go. Yeah, that you are. There we go. Yeah, admittedly, getting, like, a thoughtful analysis of your own project that can make the teacher understand where you're coming from can get a little bit annoying. Also, just to explain this, you can kind of just get back up with other abilities, but we don't have that just yet. And then that's enough to hit them. Cool. And 
then... Oh. I guess it's only enough if they're walking. Yeah. Only enough they're, if they're walking. So, a bit of a caveat. And I don't think... Yeah, you can't do anything with those just yet. There we go. And just plenty of flesh pops. Just my tiny brain goes boo boo. Yeah, I definitely understand that. There we go. It's obviously the secret that we had here before, but it's not a huge problem now. But we can kind of just go back to here, you open this up, and look at that. There's a travel brochure inside. Just right now, really, because it's on my Twitch profile, I got a follow from someone, but I don't know he's able to because he's banned. <clears throat> That's a bit awkward, yeah. What? You found my vacation brochure? The one all about traveling? Don't worry, it's as good as new. No backsies. Ha! One down. I'm a master salesman. The boss said I'd never get rid of these lousy brochures, but he's never witnessed my drain conviction sales technique. Ha! So yeah. Also, there's this asshole. Hello. Hi. I'm Brandon. Stupendous... Oh god, right, he's a little bit over-talkative. Stupendous clandestine powers were revealed to me the day I held erect my enchanted blade and said, Hey guys, we should go get matching purses. No reason they should just be for ladies anymore. Am I right? Hey, fellas, don't leave. Fellas, come back. And with those words, I became Branson. The most capable man in the galaxy. Gosh, that's pretty killer. I know. But the clandestine words only work if I hold erect my blade. And I accidentally left my enchanted blade on the bus. It's got to be that specific blade. Bummer. By now it's probably sealed away in Castle Boneface. That or in a desert. I don't do second. He gets in the shoes. So yeah, side quest. Keep an eye out for it. But, a squid baron... Solid snap. Is that a travel brochure? Can I take it? Uh, sure. Being a Twitch only stops you from chatting, not watching or following. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Twitch is a little bit weird in that respect, but as long as you just kind of ban someone, it usually deters people from going anyways. Wacky zowie. Look at all these snapshots. Sand and surf. Free-spirited yet responsibly sporty co-ed girls frolicking on the beach. A sweating tennis player drinking from a perspiring glass of water with a slice of lemon. Hello there. Hello. Old men with full heads of wispy pepper gray hair. Matching pants suits with a proud navy blue sailor stripe. Shirts unbuttoned to the third button. I must find this utopia and purchase a timeshare. Post haste. How can I ever thank you? Oh, I know. You got the squid oil. <laughs> no context as to where that came from. <laughs> What's this? It's squid oil. Oh, no, never mind. I expelled it fresh this morning from my ink siphon. Ew. What else? Later, loser. And off he goes. Later, squid baron. But we have our squid oil now. Yeah, admittedly, the squid is a... Uh, Squid's a bit thirsty. That's probably the best way of putting it. And sadly, the pistol doesn't really open up the best of options for us. Well, if you do have options setting pet, those can at least help you a little bit. Nothing there? Okay. Probably just a spider. But, considering what's been available in the game so far, it is kind of nothing but cute girls, so... I mean, not much you can realistically do. Let's see here. Then, anything specific I need to worry about? I don't think so. Don't believe our gun really helps us out in this area. We mainly need, like, jumping mechanics to work with right now, which we don't get those for a bit. 
I don't think we got the jumping mechanic for a bit. But we'll see when we get there. Once we get the item on Spiderweb Island, that'll probably tell us how much we need to actually backtrack for it. We'll get that one eventually. Probably should grab that, huh? There we go. And then, don't worry about him for the moment. Because we can just do that. Get rid of you, and get rid of you. Just in case you have items. Then, whop. No, screw you in your pumpkin bomb. And then, can't quite get both there, but that's fine. That's a five. Nice. I don't think the backdash necessarily helps you out too much, at least in the long term, but it's all good there. Bop, bop. There we go. Now we're just back in town, so small maps. Which is kind of why I think the speedrun achievement for this game is like an hour and a half, I think? Yeah, man. But, with this at least, smack. There, now we have four. I think I still need a couple more before we can get another one. Yeah. But for the minutes... Oh. <laughs> it was that quick, huh, you know? Well, welcome back all the same. Glad that we got it all done. Now, does this require, like, all the tools? Yes, this requires all the tools. Hey there, Mayor. The Ammo Baron is bringing soldiers from everywhere. Gunners, pilots, even the Techno Baron. Dear, oh dear. I wish I had five meaty chunklets to help me feel better. I mean, I do have some, but I don't have enough, so... We'll, we'll, we'll have to find him some meaty chunklets, as I'm sure that does something for us. I'd imagine a heart squid. Or money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Toad definitely let himself go. And enjoy your drawing, Nano. I honestly kind of figured you'd be a little bit sick of it after having to brush the animation, but I'll get there. Oh no! What is it, Uncle? My workshop has been ransacked! Who would do such a thing? Don't go on it. There goes my experiment. Yeah, unfortunately the Tinker Bat was kind of his thing. But that's fine. Also, $69. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately the channel point name does have to be uh, four letters long, so uh, didn't have much of a choice there. Do you sell mini chunks by chance? No, you have to grind those. I'm not animating. No, but animating does kind of require you to draw, especially since you were doing kind of like frame by frame stuff. Off we go back to Spiderweb Island. Now that we got the squid oil, and thankfully... There we go. We can kind of just get rid of these guys. Kind of wish I knew what to do here, but I don't think you can just jump down. Monster milk. This might be a good place to grind meaty chucks for, actually. I could imagine they drop them. At least something this area does. Bad. What you got, buddy? Monster milk, not quite. Flesh pop, also not quite. I need meat. I need fresh meat. There we go. Now, the, I guess the real question is if they actually draw meaty chunklets or not. 
I feel like they should consider there's ensembles, but... Up up. Thank you. Then get rid of you. Thankfully we can't heal with the other stuff it's dropping, but it'd be nice to see if they at least drop it. It might just be something in the dungeon that we got it from, because I think we've only got like one. Oh no, we've got four. I only need one more. It'd be nice then, maybe drop one. I can't seem to fly them anywhere. Oh. This is probably a better grinding spot. Nope, flash pop. And I do hope you like the sound of these guys coming out of the ground, because this is a pretty easy spot to grind with once you get all of your equipment. There we go. So that nice uncovering sound that plays three times in an instant, you get used to that. Sadly, only the bodies can actually drop the items, so there's no point in juggling the heads on this really for extra dollars, really. Come on now. Take bits maybe as a no for the moment. There might be other things that drop the maybe trunk that I'm not thinking of. There we go. Unless these things would like to prove me wrong, so I'm more than welcome to try. But no, nah, they're just getting a little bit annoying. Thankfully, we kind of opened up the pathway over here, so. Oh yeah, the squid oil. Is that for me? Yeah, sure, go for it. Excellent. Ever since we slid off from the zombie caravan, we've been in short supply. I can always- or I can have this fixed in a jiffy. He gave the squid oil. And apparently just having squid oil let him reconstruct that, so, you know, that's good. Hey, you're pretty amazing, Poe. Thank you, my lady. What do you say we take her for a test drive? I gave it a little- it could get a little dangerous, just saying. You sure Roddy won't mind? It's no problem, just remember to hold on tight. That's mostly just to kinda let you bypass that section again. Wow, she handles beautifully. I couldn't have done it without you, my lady. Here. We get the shriveled thing. It smells. How sweet! I'll share it always, but what exactly is it? What, don't you like it? No, no, it's great. It's from a dead guy. Ugh. I'll be around in case you ever need a ride. See ya! And then the shriveled thing I believe we need to go over here for? Hello. You found Poe? You're alright, girl. And then, Roddy? If the wagon's fixed, you can use it, I guess. There's no peeking inside. And I don't think there's anything else to this guy's... or this house, so... It's mostly just their here. But, off we go. Uh, I think there's something up there. Can you get there? Not without double jump. We'll go this way. Because this is probably what we need. Yeah. <laughs> sniff sniff. Moldy, moldy leftovers? Hungry. Feed us shriveled thing. You gave the shriveled thing. More. Bring more delicious thing inside. And next dungeon unlock already. Not too bad. The cackle tower. Let's see how much money we get off this. Yeah, you'll notice it's a little bit decrepit here. Which is fine, but... Let's see. Really, that's not actually enough to take that out. Interesting. Okay. Then... Those also can't be done. Okay. I guess just to give you some dressing for when you're adventuring through the dungeon, really. Oh, hold up.
This is always important to check just on the off chance, but skeletons. There's some more undead skelly buddies. There we go. And then I don't think there's anything specific around here just yet. There's some more skelly boys. And I feel like if you've seen skeletons one game, you see them in all of them, because they all just pretty much have some RP projectiles you have to worry about. Oh. That's a bike ball. It just kind of gives you like an A or a hit around you, just in case something gets close. And does usually the same amount of damage to your hair. So it's pretty good for kind of just breaking like quick things for lazy. Since if I can line it up right at least. There we go. It can break like objects for you too. I believe you can upgrade your items later as well. But it's been a hot minute, so I can't quite remember. But first area, again, we have a door. Then we have some kind of mad sciency machine. Which we need the power to actually continue. So for now, we'll go this way. Oh. Thank you, Spitz. Thank you, whatever he is. Come on, Pika. There we go. There's a meat chunklet. Cool. We can give that some air on the way back just because we don't really need the meat chunklets. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Now then, what does it want you to do here? Because I'm pretty sure... yeah. So, if it's not obvious here, we'll be getting our double jump in this dungeon. I went the wrong way first. You're supposed to go to the right. How is a spear on a ball? I mean, that's functionally just a maze with an extended handle, right? There we go. And you can kind of just shoot those guys down, but they have like 12 health, so the... Oops. Your hair is just kind of better. Then, yeah, there's just a lot of wide open areas here, so we'll probably get the double jump equivalent here. Oh, hello. There we go. You can go away. You can go away. Also, yeah, morning start. Also, these sexy ladies. Who also like morning stars. Oh, that was kind of a flubbed one. Come on now, let me hit you. Do I just have to hit her in the air or something? Yeah. Oh no, she can kind of just port out of the air too. Also, she hits for a lot. You forget that sometimes. There we go. There we go. Hey, you get a super pike ball. Then you get your key. Yeah, yeah. Weapon definitions are always fun to go over. But only so much we can do. We got our key, so we kind of have to go this way since we couldn't jump over that pit. So, we get the new mechanic of this dungeon. Which basically is things that spit you out. So hopefully you like those. These things do chew on us a little bit. And I mean, by the animation-wise, I'm sure there's nothing going on in the artist's mind with something like that. I think we have to go that way. And down? Yeah. Can't quite go up just yet, but yeah, we have to know it's there. And there we go. Just have a little bit of a butt wiggle while we're going. <laughs> yeah, that's the hashtag of the comic. There we go. Then just jump over to here so we can get that. Which I'm realizing is a dumb idea because we... Oh, no, we can't. We can't make that jump. Okay. Then this jump you can make for sure. There we go. 
And then more skelly bobs. No. The basically crap version of the skull. Which is a weird reuse of the at least model, technically. They just read that the sprite art for it. Let's see. I think those skeletons will hurt if they drop into the spikes. But so will we, so best not to worry about it too much. There we go. Oh. There we go. And then this part is kind of just telling you to be careful with these. Just because those are usually pretty specific in the way that they shoot you. You don't have a choice with the red ones. There we go. But we got the dungeon map now, so that's good. And as you can see, we just have very high platforms for everything. If you screw up here, you have to go all the way back around. So you want to avoid having to go back. And some more skelly boys. Okay. Oh, I got that in time? I guess not. Nice, simple tricks to get there. Oh. Almost missed that. That would have been a little bit annoying. Is there anything over here? No. That's fine. Uh, there's a heart squid there. I believe this kind of requires... Okay. This requires some very specific movement. Well... There we go. That's what they want to do. Then I'll push you over to there. Then you can do that to unlock that one. And that just kind of punts you back up to here. You can get some free money there at least, and then you can go up to here. Which kind of pushes you over to here. Which, by the looks of it, not much you can really do. So just keep going. Which... I can also go over to here, but that requires a key. And I don't remember what the best way to go is. I'm assuming up is the way you're supposed to go. But you can go this way as well. To a save point. Well, and since this has health, I'm wagering this is just a mini boss fight. Yeah. Oh. There we go. You can go away. What else you got? This spitty plant bastard. You go away. And then... Flimes. Kind of dealt with them before. They don't really do much other than that, but... They're pretty easy to kill. Okay, no. This looks like the way you're supposed to go, so maybe let's backtrack a little bit. You can also fall down here, I believe. But that just kind of sends you pretty much all the way back to the start. So, right, you do kind of have to go all the way around. That's fine. That's at least good to remember when you're exploring some of the maps, especially in this one, just because there's a bit of a loop around when you get far enough. up. We can just enjoy, enjoy a bit more of that hashtag. It's not one that I'm really that into, but still nice to have all the same. Keeps things separate. Alright, then what? We can just go over to here. Then almost messed that up again. But thankfully, most of the major enemies just kind of leave you alone at this point. Or the major enemies don't respawn, just the little skelly boys usually respawn. There we go. Then we can just go to that. 
And I'm trying to remember how you get that one. Because nothing really explicitly says which way you're supposed to go with it. But it's probably something up there. Also this. With money. Because you always need money. And you can go to there. And I thought it was up here. But I assume I missed something. That way, that way, that way. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. And you can't do much until you actually get the thing I'm thinking of. So, what happens if you go up? There's that, which I don't think you can hit. Yeah. You kind of have to take this one. And then you can't physically reach that one either, so down we go. May as well just save in case we die. I doubt we will, but... Oh. Dealt with that already. And then we kind of just have to deal with more of these kind of canon puzzles, if we're talking Donkey Kong logic. Or war puzzles, if you want to at least commit to that. This part is at least easy. You can't go down, so you kind of have to go up. And then we get... Risky's Hat. Press the hat button while in the air to float slowly down. Which I believe is that button? Yeah. So you'll kind of notice that it kind of gives us a little bit of a double jump effect with it. So not the double jump I'm thinking of, but this will at least let us go further. Which is what this is for. You can at least go down here, and you probably should. Just in case there's anything, but... We can now kind of just flow. As well as get extra height if we use that correctly. So you can already kind of see that the movement mechanics in this game are going to be relatively fun as well. Save, just in case. Also, I should probably stand up, because I've been going for about two and a half hours sitting in the same chair. So, you can enjoy the music for a sec, but I'm going to stand up so I don't hurt myself. Ow. Yeah, that's probably a good time for that, actually. Boy. Oh, so nice to be able to crack my neck without too many problems. Yeah, that's been bugging me most of the day. Boy. Yeah, my health is important. Just, just a, it is a little bit odd that, like, these things only pop up when I'm streaming, not when I'm just doing normal stuff on the computer. And there's not realistically much of a difference between me streaming normally and just, like, sitting at a computer playing video games. So, a couple things. One, we can go along this upper pathway here to go that way, but we can also go this way. So... Which kind of lets us go to here, but there should be something that lets us maybe get that heart squid? Maybe? Not quite, okay. Yeah, that's admittedly true. Just having, like, people's eyes on you for most of the time isn't really the most comfortable feeling in the world. There we go. That's why I need to come over here. Now, is there anything here other than the switch? Don't think so. Well, we just kind of need to go this way anyways. This down doesn't really help you very much. And this is mostly just to get back, so... I would imagine it's here, but you don't have any way of getting down just yet. Well, oh. 
There we go. And then I don't know what's down there, but I imagine it's just more of this tunnel. I'm pretty sure that's just kind of continuing down to there. There we go. And then now we're up here. I feel like those guys aren't a huge issue, but... There's a heart squid, but you have to get into it first, which is the bigger problem of the two. There's a pike ball, and I'd imagine we got something else off of that, but... Can't go up there. Okay, yeah. Not that. There it is. That one's a bit tricky. Excuse me? What the damage to me there? It would be nice if the ceiling actually hit the skeletons, but oh well. Alright, and then this is supposed to tell you to do that. Then you can get into here, grab that chest with a key. I really don't know the significance of having the tongue guys here, other than like reminding you that they were in the Roddy Tops area, but they do like next to nothing here. And then for here, I don't recall there being anything specific you need to do. Cause like you can get up here, but you can't like break anything, so. There we go. There's 300, so we can get our last uh, whip speed upgrade. At least for now. I don't believe there's a further one. There might be one more, but... Well... Now comes the fun part, because I need to remember how to actually get past this. Because you kind of saw it up above there, but you kind of need to use the key up there or down here. And I would imagine down here is probably the better option of the two. Oops. I go down too far is the question. Yes, I went down a little bit too far. Um... We can kind of explore this area a little bit better, but we do need to get up to there to actually do something, so... one of these to shoot you up or something, but I don't quite remember what you're supposed to do for it. But now that you've got the hat, you should be able to get everything that's at least in the dungeon. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you need to go down there for it, so we may as well just backtrack a bit to find it. So, well... Okay, no, that won't help. And then that won't help either. So, what you need to do then is go to here, unlock this door so that you can hit that switch. And then what else? I don't quite remember how many switches there are, but I know there's more than two. There we go. Unless you're just supposed to be able to get... <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you, Leah, for the uh, 100 biddies. And thank you very much for the congratulations on that. Oh, damn. No, that's not quite right. Um, interesting that you can get back down into there, though. No, can't quite do that. There's some trick with the war cannons there that you should be able to get to that. I don't quite remember... I 
really not that. I think that might be how, actually, looking at it. Because you don't just do that. That would be a little bit too easy if you could just float on into there. But it kind of has to be in there. So I don't remember how you're supposed to get into it. You can't butt wiggle into there, obviously. That all kind of just shoots you. Right. That all just shoots you up. This gets you to here, but I don't believe there's any way up out of here. And then I don't that will do anything. And I don't think closing that off helps you in any way for this. Because you need to get, like, Either into that side room or into some room. I just don't think it's the right one. What do you want from me, game? I think it'd be somewhere around here. Oh well. Maybe something will come to mind as we go further through the dungeon. Just, I would like to get that heart squid. It seems like one of the easier ones to actually get. Just, I don't know the secret to it. This seems like something here. Oh, no, but there's another heart squid down here. <laughs> I imagine that just shoots you back up. Yeah. Pretty much right up to the top, so... What else is down here? Just that? Okay. That's not too hard to kind of reset from. Then how do you get that one? Hmm. You'd think it'd be shooting up somehow, but... Nothing really gives you that option. You'd almost have to, like, cancel your shoot out of there, but you definitely can't do that. And up we go. And shooting down here doesn't do anything for you. should be more obvious to me, and I'm just kind of missing something really obvious with it. Do anything with that. That just leads you to there. Does not help you at all. Go to the bottom level of this room. Oh. That's a side. Hmm. I mean, that is the very bottom level, but... Yeah, that's kind of what I figured too, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything for us. <laughs> that's why. There was a hidden block there. Thank you, Nano. Not Nano. Thank you, Non. Wrong end name. A lot of people that watch this stream have an end for a name, now that I'm looking at it. There we go. Now we can continue on. Now then... You can just spit me over to here. And if you're tricky enough, you can do that, so... That's always preferred. 
and you just grab that. And sadly can't quite get that cycle. That's fine. I've dealt with everything here already, so we can just continue on. There is that locked door up there, but there isn't much that we can do about that at the moment, so... I guess it's more so just looking at the map and seeing where we're supposed to go from here. I guess I haven't gone down that far yet, so that might be a good place to check. Maybe I'm just missing a side key or something. That's probably why we can't continue. Uh, that's how you get out. Oh, rude. And we can just go down to here. You can pause in the air as well, so I always find it a little bit funny, but... Spikes. <laughs> that's fine. Maybe with two power, that's enough for us to continue on. So let's just check and see. Because I can't think of much else for us to do at the moment. Other than just exploring that pit that we can cross. Yeah, we need one more. But now that we have the hat, we can at least go down here. No. And then we can do this portion. But this jerk. Out of the way. There we go. And then there's the third switch. And then... What do we do once we have all three of those charged up? Up. Ready to activate. There we go. Now we get magnetism, which gives us wind, which means we can go up these tunnels now, which is significantly more helpful. Which means we can go to the upper level. Yeah, okay, that's what you're supposed to do. We do have this locked door here, but there's just not much we can do if we get a replacement key, so... Onto this way. To a slight boss fight. Just fine. And two of these ones now. Okay. And, oops. They do kind of just hurt, so keep an eye out for them. Get one down. Also, yes, they are functionally wearing next to no clothing. It's fine, they're demons. Uh, no, no. Aw. Okay. Rude. More meat. And then, should just be this. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Aw, oh, thank you very much all for the pads. And... Yeah, nothing in there. This is also just to kind of teach you that you can whip out of the hat pull, but... Not always the best option. And this just put you right up to there? Yeah. That's the key we need, at least. We can grab that. And pop! There we go. Oh, whoops. Then we can just go back this way. And unlock that. Which puts us in the last area for this, I believe. I feel like we have missed a couple of things, which is... not great. Okay. Yeah, pretty classic floaty puzzle mechanics. Don't get hit by all the spikes, please, and thank you. 
and you can go a little bit up here. Then this part is kind of just telling you to get a little bit tricky because you can't just do it anywhere. So you will have to kind of catch the wind in specific spots now. Which is what this boss fight here will probably tell us. And I feel like it was mildly foreshadowed earlier what this is going to end up being. Especially if that doesn't give you any evidence as to what this is going to be. But let, let's just try the boss here. We're at full health anyways. Yeah, I hope you like seeing this guy. Or girl. The Chick Cat Queen Royale. There we go. Thankfully not too hard to deal with. At least from the start. But she's just almost always available. Okay. I think you need the hat eventually, but... Oh, right, this is why you need the hat! No. I am spacing this all wrong. Yeah, admittedly, you kind of have to hit, like, the eye. Yeah, you have to kind of go into it. Well, Thankfully not too hard, but you do have to be specific with it. There we go. No. No. What I should be doing, realistically. Then... more of those. Bypass that really quickly. Okay, would you like to come down? There we go. Goodbye, spider. Woo! Don't have to deal with arachnophobia anymore. So to anyone who needed to look away because of a spider, uh, it's good now. It's gone. Hey, get back here, you. And map to the next area. To Tan Line Island map. That's one last source of evil for the Pirate Master. I better go tell Risky. And we got her hat back, so I'm sure she'll like to hear about that. First thing you want to do... Go to here. <laughs> Grab this asshole so you don't forget about it. There we go. And we'll just suck up the darkness. And then... This hat is actually what I was thinking of, so we'll probably go back to the, uh... Saliva falls really quickly. And just do that thing so we can get the last heart squid out of the way. Hey there, Poe. This is mostly just to get away, or we don't have to like run through the entirety of the Roddy Tops run area again. But we have missed a couple of things by doing this, so. Is the hat what we need for those, or...? Okay. Okay. Go away. This is obviously all this stuff. But this kind of feels like you need to dig into the top of it to really get anything. And maybe it's just for the next item I'm thinking of. Otherwise, hopping just isn't that helpful. And then there's obviously this one, but crawling doesn't do anything. 
popping doesn't do anything. But it kind of makes it seem like you need to do something to the top of it. So we'll come back once we get the, uh, the double jump item. I'll just leave it vague at that for now. Thank you. And there we go. We got a flesh pop at least. I'm just gonna say no to the ghosts because I just don't care anymore. Then you guys can F off. We've got stuff to do. Well. I thought I gotta jump off there, but oh well. Hey there. Hey, you're back. Not without incident, but I found another island map. And your hat. I thought you'd be excited. I've been thinking about my men and the curse that controls them. We all sail together under the Pirate Master's command. The Pirate Master is clever. He'd expect me to go after my pistol and hat. That's why he brought them here, to infuse them with his evil. He's been using the weapons to lure me in. He plans to trigger the curse and put me back under his control. I can't believe I almost fell for such an obvious ruse. Is that why you won't come with me? Because you're under the same curse as your men? I'm not afraid of him. I didn't say that you were. I despise him. I'd like to see him return just so I can crush him myself. I didn't mean to get you all worked up. But hey, as long as we're finally talking, right? Good to get these things off your chest. I'll wait for you on board. And now we can go to Tanline Island. Who guesses as to where we go off of that? <laughs> Saliva Island. We'll take a quick jump here, because I believe the hat is all we need to get this. We might need something else as well. But we should be fine. I mean, no, it's not trying to hide it whatsoever. <laughs> the game is a little bit blue. Like... It's an independent creator. I'll, I'll give up a, a pass for being a little bit horny on main. Not quite. You can just go away. Meet Chunklets. We need to remember to go to those back to the mayor. And then pop, pop. Then up to here. Up to here. Nope, that's being overconfident. Crap. And then I'd wager that. We... Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll just wait for this one. Oh yeah, it's definitely funny. And pop you up, and then pop you up. Up we go. There we go, got it. Then we have to do a little bit of light platforming for this part, but there's that last heart squid. Aww. Sorry to hear, Leah. Is there any way you can, like, spice over it a little bit, just so you can get a little bit more out of it? You just go away. I don't care about you. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to come here yet, but I may as well. We may get some kind of weirder enemies here. Kind of depends, really. There we go. More meat chunklets. Aw. Now, can I do that? No. Frog. Thank you. Then, should just be one more? Two? There we go. Then, yeah, just a few mermaids. Hopefully you don't have problems with the mermaids, because this place just wants you to make sure you remember them. There we go. Then down we go. 
And then this. We kind of just need to remember this is here, but we'll have to come back here for another part of the story. Because I don't believe there's anything specific we can do here. Flavor's good, just a bit dried out. Ah, uh, I guess this just a little bit dried out. That's not too bad to deal with, but it still sucks that happened. Yeah, it doesn't go away. Ah, okay. I mean, if you're a little bit oversensitive to dry, then that's fair. If you have any way of fixing it, though, hopefully you do have a way, but... Go away. Also, we're just gonna... Heal. That's what actually healed us for a lot. Okay. No, that's fair, Ziona. Admittedly, like, platformers... Oops. Platformers aren't really for everybody, but... Oh yeah, leftover KFC gravy is also a good option. Whoops. I can just go away, and you going to platforms is rude. Yeah, that's what we need the hat for, is just to grab the extra hard squid, as well as get that secret for Metroidvania shenanigans. There we go. And there we go. Then you just go away. We could use the pirate player, but we can also just do that. Excuse me, sir. Don't care about your froggy butt. Hmm. Disconnect it from my chat. Considering the time, I should double check, actually. Here's my window for that. I put it under there. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna get rid of this screen that I had kind of running in the background, just on the off chance, but... Alright, get ready to go to Scuttle Town. Because don't care about anything else at the moment. For one thing, we have enough money to grab another whip upgrade, so we're gonna do that really quickly. Hello! Give me my fast whip, please. Cream. Yeah. So, this is how fast you can whip your hair, like, at max speed. So imagine the DPS you can actually deal with with that. And just reaction time, too, because it's a fairly fast animation, all things considered. Now, is there anything good that I can actually grab for, like, 50? Uh, not the monster mill. Not yet. Okay. But either way, I just like maxing out the hair width first, because that's the most helpful part. You just kind of have to worry about your spacing at this rate. <laughs> yeah, Shantae does kind of have Nikki beat a little bit, huh? You do also have to imagine how bad, like, Shantae's neck is, or I guess how strong Shantae's neck is. Oops. That's fine. You just kind of have to skirt over them for the moment. Because I mainly just want to come over here specifically for that heart squid that we skipped earlier. Because with this pad, we can now grab that. And if I've been counting right, I think we're up to six, right? Yeah. And then, if we go over to here, I believe there's also another thing we can grab with the hat. So, there with you. Thankfully, those guys you can kind of just kill immediately before they can actually get into the air now, which is handy. Okay, buddy. Yeah, this. Which is another Tinkerbat. There we go. Then we shall suck. Then we get a little bit more dark magic. He always wants a backtrack. I don't think there's anything else we need with the hat now, but worth checking. Oh, fine. 
that's just me getting cocky, admittedly. So we will just pretend like that never happened. Yeah, this one. You need the actual double jump item for that one, I think. I don't think there's anywhere up here that gets you high enough to just glide over. We'll have to come back for that part, Squid, but you are kind of supposed to have all of the tools before you can get all the bits and pieces for here. And if we come back here, I don't think the hat helps us with anything specific either, because he'll obviously be looking to erect his blade after we go down to the desert. And other than that... yeah. Uh, Pirate Flare? There we go. And that just kind of sends us right back to wherever the ship is. So, the pirate players are helpful. Alright, the meat chocolates. Buddy. So what does he give you if you just give him meat chocolates? Does he just move? Because I can let you know right now, I remember this portion. There's a reason why there's just like a gigantic line here. Oh yeah, he just gives you money, right? Weird, he was asking for meaty pops before. Or meat chunklets. Odd. Oh well. Yeah, I can kind of let you know now. Uh, we need a specific item that will let you get over this gap, because there is something on the other side. But we'll get there. You only need one more item to get over there, I think, so it's not too bad. And then, in terms of squids, yeah, we still need two more for another heart chunk, but we can at least get one more for the moment. Hello! Yep, go for it. With all the intensity of crushing four squids, we can get another heart. There we go, we're up to five already. And then you... Now that we're done here... You can also kind of see, like, there aren't, like, that many different islands to go over, but... It does still take you a little bit to get through this game. But, Tanline Island. I'm sure we won't meet anyone who's trying to get, you know, a sun bath in. According to the map, this is Tanline Island. Hot. Don't let the immense heat... Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it with a delay. I'll go and have a look, see? You just leave everything to me. And if you feel cursed, lie back and put a damp towel over your forehead. Where does she get the energy to be so disgustingly happy at all times? Still haven't gotten a ret to go yet. That's like her teeth braids. Also, cactus. And jerks. Then we should be getting onto the enemy that I think is in the desert soon. Oh, those are very slow shots. Those are a lot faster than Half Genie Hero. There we go. Those guys are kind of like the zombies, and just this thing they're always around. But that's fine. Also, sexy elf archers. Wow. Well, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So, Ziona, uh, how do you feel about that one? <laughs> the sad part is, you usually farm her for Super Pike Balls and Monster Milk, because she has, she has a higher chance of dropping both of those. Yep. A mummy has an inscription. Probably curse, I better not read it, considering the luck I've been having lately. Yeah, I mean, she only moans a little bit. And look at that, she respawns, so you get to hear it more. 
Also, yeah, she does hurt you very badly. There we go. Then those guys. Which I don't think you have to kill, but it's just easier to. Oh, we can check that one. It was mortar into legs, she might find kind of thing. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, it's a geocache here. The tiny message reads, What a find! Taking this old mummy to the daughter. Signed Sky's dad, and it's dated today? What in the world? So yeah, that's kind of telling you you kind of have to go back to Skittle Town anyways, but... Well... I don't know if we have to go back just yet. But, good to know. Okay, yeah, you do have to. Play. Does combination lock, which you do not have the code for, and there are, I believe... Yeah, like 20 options you can go through, so... I'm just gonna take the hint and go back to Skittle Town. Fuck. Nope. Coolant is probably a good idea. I will do that in just a second. I just want to get rid of all these guys. And deal with her again. There we go. There's- oh yeah, there's Super Monster Milk. In case you ever needed another reason to believe those were a little bit too lewd. Oops. Nope. And then... Nope. Also nope, and nope. There should be a couple more. Not just you. Okay. Bubble shield. Yep, ready to shove off. Oi. We'll just go back to Skittle Town and go talk to Sky. up there, so kind of need to do that. Yep. Chante, who looks... look who... the Chante, look who decided to make a surprise visit. This guy's mom? How are you? On cloud nine. Also, Sky's mom. If you have tastes, there you go. There's a mom. When I heard my sweet little bed wedding baby biz... Bunsy's found himself a handsome young man. I just had to come and meet him. Oh, look at his fun hat. Pleasure, ma'am. You're quite a gal here. You got quite a gal here. You and Joe? <laughs> I caught him removing one of my bird's nests when we got to talking over coffee, and... Well, I guess we hit it off. Chibo broke my arm being... Chibo broke my arm being cousin of the bird I don't touched. Soon there will be the sounds of wedding bells and piles of crying grandbabies. Ma! Chub over kids, heavy load incoming. Sky's dad. You know, just kind of place that there. Ouch! There goes the back. I hope I hold out long enough to see those two lovebirds tie the knot before I croak. Oh, daddy. This the guy? Sir. What you do for a living, Joe? I uh, tear down schools and what converts them to long war I uh, tears down schools and what converts them to long range cannons. That'll work. My daughter could do a lot worse. Daddy! Also, she smells like the bond I was raised in. Hold up now. Look at you, daughter. I swear you were just in diapers and pigtails yesterday. Lay off the marshmallow spread, girl. You're gonna plump as... Or you're... Bleh. You've gone plump as a partridge. English. Honey, don't embarrass our little girl. She's just puffing up to attract a mate. Oh, I think it's working. Oh. Bah. Have a look at this now. Brought you guys a genuine artifact from a lost world. You can use it to spruce up the place. Give it some culture. I can decorate my own, thanks. 
What do you think of it, Joe? I'll have to get real close to read it. He got some S's wrote on it. it says here, death to them what reads it. Hmm. Feel a bit unnatural. Later, Joe. Hardly knew ye. Daddy, what did you do? Jimmy, who'd think something like this old could still pack such a wallop? Chantel looks like your old Uncle Mimic was right again. He always says these little curses stay fresh with age. Man's the better relic hunter, any day of the week. Can we please not discuss your work right now? You always do this, Daddy. You want me to be single forever. There, there, don't fuss. Your friend here will fix it. I will? Well, I'll be darned. So yeah, the hint is basically just go talk to your grandpa. Which I remember right is here. Hey, Mimic. John Tate, did you come for a long and boring speech with adventuring? Oh, uh, no, not really. There are four kinds of heroes in this world. Those who complete their quest with minimum effort. Those who are slow yet thorough, collecting every single treasure. Those who work quickly, measuring their success only in speed. And finally, those who use your death. Those heroes who collect everything and still do it at top speed. Every hero will receive a reward equal to his or her own effort. But which one am I, Uncle? That's up to you. Also, that phrasing is more or less just to tell you the four different endings you can get to this game, which are functionally default 100%, speedrun, and speedrun 100%. That's not quite what we needed to do. That's a problem. I don't think... No, you don't tell us. What about you? Rip. Let's see here. Maybe I missed something kind of obvious at Sky's place. Uh, can I talk with Joe? Whoops. That's Sky. Mummy is an inscription. Okay. Hmm. Don't quite remember what you're supposed to do with this part, actually. I kind of thought that was the answer, but I guess not. Unless you're supposed to bring him to the healing spring, but you can't carry him. Oh, yeah, she's just kind of your guide to... Can I get up there, please? Thank you. Both relic hunters to take treasure from the old world. Yeah, that's kind of why I thought that would help. You really don't want to give me anything? Come on, buddy. Can't do that. You don't do anything. And we can't read that because we'll obviously die if we do. <clears throat> oh. Right. I guess. Let's go to Saliva Island and go back to that one hidden area. Maybe now that we've kind of used that, it'll help us out a little bit. You just go away. And then you, sir, can go away. Oh, actually, we don't even need to do all this nonsense. Come on now. There we go. Nice old meat chunklet. Thankfully, leave us alone, so that's not too bad. But maybe now that we've at least done this part. Maybe that's enough to actually help us out here. There we go. And that's enough to get us over here. So let's just see if that one coffin is now open that we kind of had to deal with before. Aw. Rude. Give an attack animation, just really follow it. There we go. And 
and the Froggy Boy. Let's go away. There we go. And then that was kind of due to failure, unfortunately. But that's fine. Excuse me. There we go. That's better. Wait for that to go through. Then you kind of do that. And anything on this yet? No, not yet. Hmm. What did I miss then? I'm just gonna ignore you. There we go. Not quite. Okay. Probably why they want you to not just avoid everything completely. <laughs> Alright, game. Maybe take it a little bit gentler. Not that much of a mask, I guess. There we go. Just so we don't die here. Let's use a bento box. Doesn't quite heal us fully, but... Yeah, it kind of gives you some leeway in that respect, but I guess let's just go back to tan line and see what we can find there. Because we may have just missed something specific. Oh. You can just go away. I think that's just safer for everyone. Come on now. There we go. Desert. Maybe there was just something that I missed that was kind of obvious. But this is also kind of the reason I just don't speedrun this game. Like, it'd be cool to get the speedrunning ending, but that requires a lot of memorization. Aww. Blue. Doesn't look like anything here. go. Then you. Ah, not quite enough. There we go. And there was also the one here. We can't read it yet. And this does give you a hint as to uh, what item you'll need to get whatever's there. So we'll probably get that soon. There we go. That's the better timing. No. Would you like to come down? And then you can't read this, but... And otherwise, it just kind of leads you back. Which is the old save, man. I don't know if there's a good way of doing this, really. I feel like you're supposed to do something else first. Oh, yeah. I literally just needed to walk over. I thought that was the lock for the entire wall. I came here expecting to relax in the surf, to feel the ocean breeze on my face as I watched with feigned disinterest as nearby bunnies, or beach bunnies, apply copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's bodies, in order to be practical and sun safe. Huh. <sighs> From UV rays. Okay. But I didn't know this is the off season. The only sights at this time of year are the elder beings and scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be purchasing a lavish home nearby with amazing square footage and gravel landscaping at this rate. And welcome back, Xeon. Hopefully you're doing alright. I won't let you do that. Fuck up. There's still something amazing out there waiting for you. Something cliche, like a lonely lady squid. Maybe you're right. If I'm not going to stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs, if that's what you needed. I won't be needing them, apparently. Use them to see through things if it pleases you. This is what you need first. You can't read the outside. You... Yeah, that was a big off. <laughs> Ugh, okay. 
So I think I think it's kind of obvious what we needed to do. So saving just in case the game crashes. That's how you lose 20 minutes from a speedrun, and that's why I don't speed there in this game. Even though the art you get from speedrunning this game is very cute. Make takoyaki? I mean... I'm not sure if he'd want to eat his own kind. Let's be real here. There we go. Alright. With these glasses, I can see right through the stone. Something's carved here. It's a design of some sort. I'll make a quick sketch just so I don't forget. There we go. There's one. Now, can, you should be able to check that, but... One-third of a mysterious design. Yeah. That's all you had to do. I can't believe I messed that up so badly. Alright, now to get the other two. Uh, yeah. I was gonna hit one of them, so that's fine. We can just go over them. We are like, should be getting money, but... It's not too bad. Uh, the Saliva Island one is the hardest one to get, so... We'll just go do that one first, and then grab the Scuttletown one later for a short one. Meet Chunklet, we can go over there, go over here. And then as long as you're not a bastard, we can go over there. You can't avoid them, technically. There we go. A little bit of money. Then you, sir, can go away. Then up we go. And then pop. Whoops. Uh, pop, pop. Pop, pop. There we go. Then you can just go up. And now that we at least know why we need to come over here, let's just get this one out of the way. Aw. Oh, rude. There we go. There we go. Oh. There we go. It's always just satisfying to actually hit the bat there. A pipe ball? Probably should be using more of those. Because you can only hold like nine at a time anyways, so you may as well. I mean, it's just kind of free damage anyways. And as we've learned with all these guys, they're relatively weak. And I mean, it does good damage. Oh. Hello. Design. Quick sketch. There's part two. And then we just go back to Skeleton for part three. Thankfully, it didn't take us off the edge there. Okay, nope, but the spike ball's gonna get it for us. And since I'm just being dumb, I'm gonna do that. Okay, nope, almost fucked that up. Then we can just hop over here, hop over the mermaids really quick. Almost a way to crap. Oh. There we go. Frog. Frog. Fine. You can just go away then. Alright. You can tell how reckless I am with this game at times, just because they give you more than enough healing to actually get through it. But back to Skittletown. We only need one more heart, which we can see on the map normally anyways. Plop. Plop. And plop. Then read into it. And a quick sketch. We get the last chunk of the mummy sketch. And that should just kind of auto put them together, anyways. Hmm. 
Each shape represents an animal, and they're arranged in a very specific pattern, which means the combination of the temple door is... Lion, bird, gator. Okay. Lion, bird, gator. That's all you needed to do for that. Now where's the spa since I'm here? Oh, yeah, that just kind of heals you. It's nice to have. Let's see. We can actually get another ability like this. So I may as well grab it since we're here. Maybe grabbing that's kind of helpful. But, yeah, spells are pretty nice. Um... I kind of want to get the power kick, if I'm being completely honest, but we'll just kind of have to tune up the pistol again. So now we've got like a blue sparky shot, which I believe does 3 damage per shot, and it might pierce. Uh, yes, I am ready to shove off. Let's go! Back down to Fanline Island. Where we haven't really gotten any of the secret bits yet, but that's because everything is hidden quite a lot here. Ah, very nice, very nice. And welcome, by the way, Mitchie. Shantae is definitely up there for me as well, but I'm always kind of stingy when I say favorites for a game. But Shantae is definitely up there because it gives you a little bit of loot, a little bit of good platforming, and a fantastic amount of music, so it is right up my alley. Very good, you can just go away. Yeah, three. Okay. And there we go. We'll just grab that. Actually, hit. No, she can block that. She can go away, though. There we go. And then, would you like to stop? There we go. Super Pike Ball. Then, you can go away. If you want to come down, that would be great. Oh, drop something? A bento box? Okay, that's good to get. Nope. And nope. Now, what did we have down? Lion, bird, gator? Lion. Bird. And... There we go. Lion, bird, gator. I don't quite remember if that code is randomized every time you start a save file, or if it's constant. I'd like to imagine it's randomized each time, but... Princess, it's you! Yeah, this is a good start. <gasps> oh my god, the princess! And they all just kind of say the same thing. Until we get to here. Oh my stars and goddess! Princess, is it really you? Uh... You're, you're talking to me, right? It is you! You've returned to us after ages beyond passing. Everyone listen. Our princess has returned to us after all this time. Whoa, I think you've got the wrong gal. She doesn't remember, and yet she's still the spinning image of who has long since passed. Now she has returned to rule over us with her infinite wisdom. Princess, please take your proper place on the throne at once. But, but... Royal vessels? Adorn her highness in ceremonial garb. See that she does not wander while I prepare the coordination. Or coronation, sorry. Oh, boogers. So, uh, yeah, now that we're in this, I think this is still Twitch safe. What's with the statue in the background? Well, I kind of missed what the statue was, so I'll have to let you know when we go back there. I'm dressed like a space princess. Can we take this over now? Or can we talk this over now? Anyone? Great, they took away my items too. If you guys think the princess is back from the dead, they'll never let me leave. There must be a way of escaping. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid, we don't have the gun anymore. But we do still have our hair upgrades, so that's fine. There be rats. And we're functionally just kind of treating this like Metal Gear Solid for the moment. 
So, don't get seen. These guys don't really have cones of vision to deal with, but... You have to be careful. No. That's the wrong way. Unless you're supposed to, like... No, okay. <laughs> Are there boxes? Um, I'll have to double check. Yes, you're pretty much supposed to go that way, but... You don't have your items. Now you can go that way, but it's locked, so... That's fine. Back to Metal Gear Solid. I think if anything, it kind of teaches you that you're supposed to crawl through certain areas, so maybe I was just supposed to crawl into a section somewhere. At least for the moment, we could just kind of have fantastic. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do that. Now let's wait for him to turn around. Ouch. Okay, I jumped a bit too high. They are a little bit that strict with it, so... If you play this in the future, keep that in mind. They actually have good eyesight, even though they're blocking most of their peripheral vision. We'll just wait here. Just have to not jump quite that high a second time. There we go. Then we can hide behind this couch if we want. Can't sit on the couch, mind you, but we can let's hide behind it. There we go. That's not too bad. Through the open door. Then we get our first of many, many, many small keys. I'm just immediately to this. Hey. I don't know if there's anything I can realistically do here. I have a feeling if I hit him. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. I suppose that makes the boat as much sense as it can. There we go. And then that kind of just puts us in this area, which leads to a couple things, but mostly just them being dorks. There we go. What's so this way? Is this? And kind of what you're supposed to do there. But you can just kind of hide in the darkness anyways. I don't exactly see what the point of that is. Except for the return trip, that's probably what I don't want you to worry about. Right, we don't have our items. There we go. Just break that. And then save. I feel like I missed something back there. So, where does this actually put us? Yeah. That's like a checkpoint, so I missed something back there. That's easy to get back to without just... Yeah, okay. That's not too hard. That's the tricky part. Here we go. see what item she dropped. There we go. There are a couple things over here, but... Nope. 
you just go away. This kind of looks like what you would... Oops. Okay. This is just a very big area, apparently. I'm not 100% certain which area you're supposed to go to first. You can kind of notice that the tower is getting a little bit more decrepit the higher we go. But that's fine. There we go. Then we can go down here. And drive onto a chain, which I imagine leads to having to stealth a little bit. Oh no, it brings us to this. There we go. That boots you back up to the top. Which we don't need at the moment, so thank you, but no thank you. Great. Rats still hurt you. Hey, there we go. Just for another key. Figured I missed something there. Then we can boop and go up. They don't necessarily want us want to show us the boar cannons right now, but it's fine. Down we go. Now, is there any way we can get into there? Up. Oh. Probably something on this door too. Kind of skipped it last time. Yeah, that kind of just puts us in the main temple area. These guys don't matter as much because they just think we're the queen. Or the princess, sorry. There we go. Use the key. We can just get Roddy Top straight away. Or Brace Key, sorry. Who else would it be? So, uh, yeah, if you think the devs are horny, this should probably give you the final answer on that question. I came looking for you, but instead I found this place. The simpletons mistook me for some silly princess and locked me away here. Same here. I'll pound those imbeciles into fish paste when I get my hands on them. We're wasting time. Let's go. So there's one. And I believe we got a second key as well, so may as well just do this one. Where we get Sky. Sky, they cut you too? What are you doing here? I flew here to find a cure for Joe. What's your excuse? I'm here with, uh... Fine, don't tell me. Let's just find a way out of this madhouse. And put some clothes on for crying out loud. Uh, how am I supposed to walk in these shoes? But they're not horny at all, don't worry. And there is one more that we need to grab. And also a tinker bat in here. Which I think we can just get without trying. Yeah. But we don't have our lamp at the moment. So, not much we can do about that. Right, you need all three to go that way, which means that we missed a key, which means we need to go back. And I believe this is our cell? Or no, that's just another save. Hello. We will take that. And what's this? Uh... Okay, yeah, that's fair. Does that bring us all the way back to our cell? Okay. <laughs> also, to let you know why that was a dumb decision, uh, we were in that room before, but uh, I didn't hit the switch to our cage. So, whoops. But we kind of needed to go back to this area anyway, so we could get that last key, so... Oh well, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but we needed to go back here anyways, because I didn't quite remember which room that we missed. Oh, okay. Really? Rude. One thing I can let you know about, there is a challenge mode afterwards where I believe you're wearing this outfit for the entire game, which gives you more magic stuff. 
or it gives you something, but you are wearing this entire outfit through the game, so you do take, like, double damage or something in return for everything. It might feel like you're fully upgraded from the start, that you just take double damage. And yeah, he catches you there, so that's a good thing to test at the very least. Just, you can't skip that. Oh. Admittedly, it would be kind of nice if there were some boxes. Because I'm sure they wouldn't mind if there was just a box in their temple. But... There we go. You do have to be quite careful with these guys. Just because they are relatively fair-tuned. And you've really got to remember your short hops. Oh boy, do your hops have the biggest problem with this. There we go. Then we'll wait. Go up here. Alright, so now we're back to here. We got one key from there, which wasn't an issue. We'll hide in the darkness. Ah, Thought I could be cheeky. Alright. Time is it actually? Ugh. Okay. Maybe let's not be cheeky, considering it's 11.30 already. I would like to take this one longer, but unfortunately I do still work tomorrow, so I kind of need to get to bed at midnight so that I can get like five hours of sleep still for work. Let's see here. Go up. Thankfully that time it didn't actually proc on us, even though the past couple times it has. And just go up. There we go. Nice and easy. Then maybe let's not get too cocky on this part. Let's just do that. That's easier. There we go. Then just do that, wait for him to walk by, then there we go. No, don't go back in. Alright, now we gotta find the door that I missed. For that. Hello, money. Any more further? There we go. Thankfully I can still find stuff, but... What's the one that I missed, then? Just in case. Let's see here. Yeah, they really don't have much for you to say. But all of the keys are probably in that back area, so it's kind of for the best if we just go back and look. I guess I think they're in this area. I don't quite remember if all three are in this area. Oh. Alright, fine. There we go. Then we can get more money. Not a ton, but still, having money is better than not. Oh. Okay, fine. Then we can just hop up to here. Then I think this is the area we got a key from, so... We don't need to backtrack too much, I don't think. 
Yeah, because it'll just kind of shoot you back up anyways. So, this isn't where we need to go. No. Sadly, we don't have the map for this area yet, otherwise I would be checking that. We at least have a partial map, but don't have the actual full map yet. Okay. So I guess then... There we go. May as well go back. And then... The only direction we didn't really go was down and to the left, so... That might be what we need. Well... Old man, you'd be so kind. Yeah, and that was why, because he's just kind of staring at us here. Um... Where are you supposed to go? This way, maybe? No, because they're here. You do need one more key. Yeah, the, the, the devs weren't horny at all. There's not enough jiggle physics here. Let's see, where does it want me to go for that last key? Because Risky Cell won't have anything. I guess it kind of has to be back there, because there's no other options, really. Then I guess we just go back here and look. Just kind of not deal with them, if at all possible. That really only leads you to this, right? Don't leave anything else for this. As you can see, that door, and that's just one that we haven't hit yet. I don't quite remember how you're supposed to hit it. Because this obviously doesn't do anything for you. That's just a dead end. But... further back this way. I'd like to jump down, maybe? They're just a little bit too determined to climb on those. That's fine. Maybe over here? There we go. We can just sneak by those big boys. Head on our way. Because there's this. I feel like I skipped. Yeah, because there's a safe way here. So I figured we shouldn't go this way. But maybe this was the right way? Yeah. There we go. Then you can just go up to here, and it's probably right here, isn't it? Uh, not quite, but close. Go away, please, thank you. But death. No, but you probably need to be up here anyways. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. That was me being dumb. What else can we grab since we're here, though? This is a very large room. We go down that door. Which leads us to... a choice? Of various doors? Yeah. Uh, you can't get back up there, so you kind of just need to... redo that, which kind of sucks. But that's where one of the heart squids is. Go away. Just go away, please. 
and then that kind of just pumps you down to above that layer, which you can see Roddy Tops is kind of just there chilling. So we'll just kind of do that. Hello. Roddy Tops? But I left you back on Spiderweb Island. I didn't want to miss out on the fun, so I followed you. Look, we both have matching costumes. Now we can be princesses together. Roddy, we've got to get out of here fast. Okay, I'll go, but I'm keeping this outfit. Yeah, good timing, Xeona. All things considered, this is kind of the horniest part of the game, I think. We didn't miss something, though, so I'm going to go back for that. Because I'd like to grab that part squid. Go up to here. I can get out the outfit we're wearing right now anyways, but pretty much Sky, Roddy, Risky, and us are in it. And plop. We'll just wait here. Sadly, they don't let you default dance without the lamp. That'd be nice if you could, but... I can understand why they may not have wanted you to. There we go. Then the save, buddy. We technically got all of our friends back, but we're gonna go for that harp squid just so I don't forget about it for later. Go up to here. here. That will lead you to you. So you can just go away. Eh, that's fine. We mostly just want to go inside this door anyways to lead down the pathway, which is this one, which is the heart squid. At least that puts us at three right now, at the very least. But we can't check our inventory anyway, so it doesn't matter. Either way. Rats, we can get rid of all those for free stuff. What was this? We can respawn since last time we were here, so that's good. And that just kicks us back to here. We need to get rid of that rat, or else we'll take a hit. Hmm. <sighs> And there we go. There you are. We should be able to help erase this contraption of the four of us working together. We're not heavy enough, although Blondie here does make for some excellent ballast. Excuse me? You probably weigh as much as a lift balloon, or two. Can we at least try to work together? I won't work with her, but for you, sure. Me? Aren't you the brain eater? What? Not you, her. Ugh, the noise, this is why I work alone. Alright, you landlubbers, pull! Yes, ma'am. Somehow we were able to pull that by hanging off of it? Don't question it. Better be prepared to break it as well. <laughs> yeah, Risky is a scary but nice lady. They just want to do their own thing, but for right now, at least, it's kind of just dealing with it. Princess, you've arrived at last. Behold, a, gritty, a glittering statue of your vast magnificence. The outfits are pretty cool, yeah. That's supposed to be me? Ah, but yes, it is in your exact likeness. But lo, do my eyes deceive me? Princess, there are four of you. But, but each of you looks perfectly identical to this humongous, titanic, rotund, corpulent, and bulgingly beautiful, pleasantly plump statue. There we go. There's the actual princess. What this? Princess? There you are. Where in the world have you been? It's been over 30 minutes. Were you at the store all that time? You silly Billy. This, I can't. 
people, hear me. Our princess has returned at long last from the store. Thank you all. Truly, you have saved our people. Sorry about the mix-up. Believe me, this happens all the time. I shall return your garments and give you this golden pickaxe in honor of your great deeds. Ugh, leave side of your adventures for now. Wait, this is the fun part where I get an item. You got the golden pickaxe. And now we're kind of just back to default, Shante. You can go back to the hard squid if you ever need to, but... For now... Yeah, admittedly you're not wrong there, Leah. What's this? A golden pickaxe from the princess? Can I have it? Yeah, you need it to continue. Love this fair to wait lickety split. You got you get the golden pickaxe. There we go. Give it to someone who can actively use it. Wow, with these ruins out of the way, I can see all the way to the horizon. And look at those chubby green birds. Ah, those aren't birds! Monsters! Run! It's fine. We can now continue into the next area, but I guess considering the time, I want to go grab that Tinker Bat since we can dance now. And I'd rather not forget stuff. We also have our hat back, which is nice. But thankfully, they'll just kind of let us in to the room now. So it's just kind of a quick grab and go. Come on. Then this. Then we can suck up the darkness. You got the dark magic. There we go. What time? Yeah, admittedly, there's only like 10 minutes left of stream. The statue. Oh yeah, right, you were asking about the statue. Uh, was this our cell? No. The statue would have been in like the main courtyard, wasn't it? We'll just go back there and check. Oh yeah, there is kind of like a almost Venus-like statue there, huh? Because she, you can kind of notice that she's got the uh, snake thing on her head there. But yeah, it is just supposed to be like a seductive woman statue. I don't think I missed anything else in the temple. But considering the time and the fact that my throat's getting a little bit itchy. I think that's a relatively good place to wrap it up for now. There we go. Then... Exit game. We can just go over to the just chatting stream. And I'll turn the music back on for you guys at the very least. Sadly, I can't hear that because I have my audio set up, but hopefully the synth wave is good for you guys for now. Yeah, I'd say that's a good stream overall. We got to the third island. We've gotten two of the, I think, four tools that we need to actually continue on through the game. We'll kind of keep pushing as hard as we can to eventually 100% this, but for the moment at least, I'd say we made some good progress overall. There we go. Oh yeah, the game is very cute. That's one of the reasons I like it, mainly. Just because the art style for it is pretty much perfect. And thank you, thank you, Nan. Uh, just give me a second here just while I whip up my Twitch so I can see who's actually going. And that might have actually been killing my connection too, now that I'm looking at it. A Twitch. The person I would expect to freight at the moment, I don't believe is going to be going for much longer, if only because she's been going for almost eight hours already. And she should be getting sleep. This stream begs the question now, is your ponytail lethal? Oops, that button. I don't know, is it? Hey, I mean, I always recommend playing Shantae games again. Like, they only get better as you can get faster at them, so. Uh, let's see. Where's my following thing? Uh, 
Who is live? Johnny's live. Zeke is live. Yuri Derry is live. Hmm. I'm trying to think of who a good person to raid would be. Uh, Skycam, actually. I've been kind of following her Twitter lately, and she did get full body tracking going. I believe she's doing a collab at the moment. But since she's only been going for, like, an hour, it's probably a good time to visit a shark. Because, you know, I like sharks. No secondary reason for that. Sorry, my tracking kind of died because I was bending over to check the time. Alright, so, in terms of closing up here, uh, tomorrow we will be playing Hollow Knight. I'll probably do the rest of the Grim Troop in terms of content, as in all of the Grim Troop or at least all the remaining bits of the Grim Troop. I'm hoping in five hours' time I can do that. And that'll start at around 7 p.m. tomorrow night, and I'll post it live to Twitter and to my Discord as well. So if any of you would like to be in another Discord for another situation... Totally not vampires. No, Sky just has sharp teeth. She's not a vampire at all. But if you do want to join the Discord, it's generally a good place where I post announcements as well as just kind of chat with people in the off time when I'm not working and when I have a free second on my media phone. I'm at the troop. Yeah, exactly. To the totally not vampires. They will not suck out your blood and they will not suck out your soul. Do not worry. Everything shall be fine. There we go. Yeah, I mean, you always want to have some manners when you're dealing with a troop, right? But in terms of rough content, we'll do Hollow Knight tomorrow. We'll return to Celeste on Saturday at 1 p.m. We'll be doing the core B-side. I really hope to God that I can do that, because I can only imagine core B-side is probably not that easy for me. But we'll get there. And then we'll be usually doing our usual two Final Fantasy streams on Sunday, one of which will be solo, the latter of which will be the collab. I will post appropriate times as they come up, but for now, let's just focus on 7 p.m. tomorrow for Hollow Knight. In terms of a raid message, since we are doing Shantae, let's do Purple Ponytail. Purple Ponytail raid. Then you can do that with Jude Heart, so that we can be friendly to our neighborhood shark. And Purple Ponytail Raid with a Bleeding Purple Heart for anyone without a sub. That sounds good. Obviously, this is going to be a tabletop simulator collab, so she might not be the most talkative or attentive to stream, but make sure to double-click her profile icon twice so that your view counts towards her Rush to partnership. And I will get a raid going. I probably should have gotten that done for the sky and the shark. There we go. And thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. Well, like I mentioned, we'll be going live tomorrow, and hopefully we can chat a bit more as we go. Oh, shit, hold on. My just chatting scream. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow! I wanna scream. Uh, it's okay. Thank if you for you the guys, follow. If you guys are tired, uh, go to can't. bed. Thank you, chat, for hanging mm. out. I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> You're so wonderful. I, I keep doing this because of you big freaking nerds. Mostly me. Apparently, because of what the hell I did. Apparently, she might be ending. So, what the hell? <laughs> Whoops! You did? You're amazing. I am amazing. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah. I would love to, I'd love to give support. Full laps, I guess, don't go as long, I guess. So, uh. Wait, where is, is my. Is the baby my still here? Screen. Oh yeah, I don't think she's still going. Are you out of supposed to go? Are you out of your mind right now? You're out of your mind. But her entire chat is just like catch you next stream. So No. It's all good. I don't even know how long we're gonna even That's fine. Cause are you guys all are you guys all East Coast? Oh yeah. Hi. Yeah. Uh, wait, Asian, Asian butt nugger, you This is always the problem Friday with now? raiding on a Thursday night, huh? I just don't have the best people to actively right. raid. Have a good night, Vivi. Have a good I'm day at work. Right or if you do have work or something. Uh huh. I do. I do. Thank you. There we go. Stop screaming. 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 Stop I'll update that shit so I don't get yelled at anymore. Right, chat food. I love a you, VTuber. Please. Chat food. <laughs> bye bye. Not to be yeah. on a hoodie dump. Cheers. Okay, the shark. I also got a new background and everything Whatever. on my screen. I may as well just oh, kick you over there, anyways. Maybe yeah, you will be just the, chatting uh, with folks really while they figure out another uh, game, because yeah, maybe an hour, food. two hours is yeah, not super long, game. anyways. Oh, you're dying? But either way. Thank you all for joining. I'm admittedly just tired oh, and not oh, focusing all too yes. much. So cute. But I'll chat with y'all tomorrow, and I'll see you in the I Discord. Yeah. Bye bye. And I have it on my background right now. Hold on, let me like. Let me. Let me, yeah, let let me, me go show. to your stream. Let me go to your stream. Wow, we're gonna go to each other's streams. Wow. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh,